to... Please give a warm welcome to the host of the 2023 Steamy Awards, Ethan Klein. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the most important event of the year. We are, of course, talking about the Steamies. It is 2022 Steamies. I hate to correct our esteemed announcer back there. Thank you. But you know what? Uh, it is what it is, right, folks? Today, we are joined by two very special co-hosts today. Joined by Tana, as everybody knows her. Nobody really knows how to say her last name. Just, some say Mojo, some say... today. It's what? It's Wittick today. It's Wittick. Ooh. Don't do that. Don't. You're not in a relationship. I, <laughs> I literally have a point clear. I'm going And of now. course, uh, Tana's significant other, Jeff, is here. I'm happy to be here. This is, uh, is going to be a historical night tonight. It will go down in YouTube history. That's Even right. Even though that Ethan is in the midst of controversy. Well, we don't, I told you not to mention that. criticized for his actions. Yeah. We will not hold oh, so back. We're already in a we scandal? will. We said don't mention that. Oh, we great. will we Before will show started. carry and we will critique these pieces of shit that are that deserve the Well, you criticism. both are nominated. By we the way. are nominated. Yeah, we are also pieces of shit. Truly. Yeah. So I'm I'm going to So guys, I welcome you all and hope you have a blessed evening here today. We of course the Steamies is here in defiance to the Streamies, which is the most corrupt institution in fucking <laughs> entertainment today. Mm -hmm. They are scum, mm -hmm. they are dishonest, and their categories as rigged as fuck. I've Honestly, been nominated yeah. five times for best podcast, and I keep being beaten by like Jay Shetty. Who the fuck even is that? <laughs> Do you know who Jay, Jay Shetty is? Really, he's got a really good podcast, actually. You like his podcast? Uh, I mean, I, I, I never watched or listened so to what, it. So how do you know? I just saw he had Kendall Jenner on and some clickbait stuff that he did, but... Sure, wow, sounds really good, Jeff. Anyway, <laughs> I've today, won a streamy award before, so guys, this is Ethan's opinion. Honestly, same, that's, that's how we know uh, it's Tana rigged. One. Well, listen, Tana guys, by being here, <laughs> that's you That's how are, we know it's rigged. Tana yeah, one creator of the year. Yeah. Which yeah. further know, proves which is, his point. <laughs> which is super weird, right? What super the fuck? Weird. Yeah. Mr. Yeah. Beast planted a million trees, and, and all I did was suck dick and smoke weed. Yeah, well, let's not discount those <laughs> achievements. Right. Seriously, I, I worked really hard at that. I appreciate that. Yeah, And, well, guys, without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome, everybody. Every single person here is being paid to clap. Wow. On every my my team too. They're, the the electricity is buzzing. My <laughs> nice job up there. You look stunning. Oh, thank you so much. You both look very good. Thank you. Uh, we are on nipple watch on Tana's top there. <sighs> I know. I keep having nip slips, which is she, so embarrassing. She told me in front of my wife explicitly, "Can you keep your eye on my nipples?" T well, I not like that. not. Can you keep your eye on my nip? More so, just like let's not get banned from TikTok right, like right. midstream. No, I, I understand. But it is my fault. I think I kind of disassociate the sexualization of nipples. I kind of think about it as like my elbow. Okay, Which that's isn't, interesting. I it's like a that. nipple. Well, would you ever yeah. consider wearing pasties under a top like that? I don't, I don't know that the mechanics of such things. No, not this. No, okay. There's enough fabric, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hard as is. I'd like to take a moment to give a shout out to AB for lending me his bow tie. It was very nice of him to do it. He's a good man. Good man. Yeah, I do want to say, though, you both are explicitly denouncing the streamies by being here. I just want to make that uh, known. So just, good to know. Just establishing <laughs> that fact right out the gate. Eh. Well, we have so many huge <laughs> nominees. I am buzzing with excitement. I could not sleep last night. And I just thank you both for being here. Uh, you guys are, are a terrific partner for this event, and I thank you both so much thank from you. the bottom of my heart. You're really the thank only you. award show that would have us, so we're good. <laughs> yeah, thank wow. you for thinking of us. The uh, word on the street is, I don't know if I'm even able to say it, but they are calling us the new frenemies, frenemies is what they're oh. saying. Why can't what you say frenemies? I don't know if is it's it like a if you're able to speak it over here. You and here? I? We're no, friendly? they're saying sort of us. Oh, you, you know, guys are the new friend of me. Because she's oh. the, the blonde oh, okay. bimbo, and well, I'm well, the, the He's so sweet. We'll make a move on Hater, you know? <laughs> well, so. there's more sexual tension between you. No, 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 no. I, yeah. I'm celibate. She has you a, just said you suck dick all year. She, she's in a rela uh, in a, you're in a relationship with yeah, someone else. Why don't you I just know. say that part? Well, you guys are like friends. You guys are like friend of Frenemies with the sexual tension. I don't agree with that, but whatever. Let's get on with the show. Well, we this year we received over 107,000 votes, my wow. friends. And, wow. unlike, and unlike the streamies, the most corrupt institution in entertainment today, this is all voted on by the people 
for the people. As it I should There's be. no shadowy back room saying like, oh, Tana won Creator of the Year. Why, how did that happen? And no offense to you, I just fucked <laughs> yeah, I was saying the, that on stage. Yeah. What's the deal with that? The streamies, they just decide in a, in a back that's room at saying. YouTube. Well, that's who, all who award shows, really. Oh, Jay Shetty's handsome. He's got nice eyes. Let's or give it to Jay him. maybe Jay Shetty kicked me back. I don't fucking know. He's got crazy ass Facebook money. He kicks back. He's corrupt too. He paid him off, Jay Shetty. They said he paid them. Yeah. Can I vape? So that's, yeah, you can vape. Wow. This yeah, is why the, this you know, show is not about who's got the most money. Absolutely. It's about not. who deserves the Absolutely award. Not. And and one thing I will say is that do we have voter protection on these? You can only vote once, right, Dan? Sure. And luckily, not enough people watch this where we can confirm that there's not bots involved. They call them dumps. Cares. 107,000 people care. That, well, those are real votes by real people, yeah. and that's who we are. And dumps. I'll tell you something else. The stream the streamies would not allow you to vape on stage, I guarantee it, and that's why they're scum. And I've always said that. <laughs> I've always fucking said that. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go over last year's winners, just to kind of um, jog our memory, because a lot has changed uh, from last year. Mm -hmm. Last year was, we were in the depths of COVID business. For example, biggest covid yet was a category. Joe Rogan won that one handily. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Was I nominated? Um, you probably were nominated, but I don't remember. Why did Joe Rogan win? So it's a good what thing. What did he do? Is it a good thing no. to win? No. COVID it's a bad thing. For the most part, you don't want to win any of these awards. Oh, then why, why did I lie? have my entire team vote for me on repeat oh, all yeah, night that last was night. <laughs> well, well, when yours is actually one of the only good ones. You're nominated tonight for uh, Redemption Arc. Aren't I nominated? Bo you guys are both nominated for the good category. The one good category. What is what? Is, what am I nominated for? Best redemption arc. What's my redemption arc? I don't. Well, I'm assuming just. What have I done to redeem term, myself? Well, I didn't think we were. Oh, maybe maybe because we had um, we squashed the beef together. Oh, so would you say there was almost a little bit of like favoritism in this nomination, which would then in fact make the steamies a bit corrupt? It's not corrupt. It's well, if people sway one way or the other, that's not corruption, Tana. Take I really don't know what I'm saying. I disassociate it. I'll take the free clap. I don't think you're going to win it anyway. Yeah, you're definitely going to win it. The whole I thing, you know? Yeah, people. Okay, it's not a that. sympathy competition. It's an actual redemption. Well, yeah, what did I do? Just, By like, the way, is there. Wear a mask? Like, at least you, like. What? Is there what? Is there too much light in the eyes? Do we need to. No. Do, do you want me to cover need... it? You want me to put sunglasses on? <laughs> do maybe an eye patch? Okay, I could cover it up if it's freaking people out. I don't want to scare any of the audience away. Actually, I, it looks totally normal. I don't want to make you feel insecure. Well, you did. So, you look very handsome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now they're there's staying on art. for the rest of the hey, show. I'll tell you what, man. You'd be ten times more handsome to me with or without an eye. You know what I mean? That's I what it's all about. Thank you. Okay, Ethan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Tana, I'm getting a show note from our producers. Uh, we need that mic to move a little bit closer to your maybe, mouth. Maybe please. I'll put it in... The way of the nipple, and I can okay. two birds I like one that. Stone. Yeah, so spiciest drama was the ending of Frenemies. That was last year. For Worst sure. apology was Travis Scott, Astro World. Oh, yeah. So Deserves it. how everybody's moved on past that, and he's doing shows already? Mm. Yeah, he's like... Let's get it. Let's re-cancel him. Let's take him down. Tanacon 2 like, coming soon. People are like, he's responsible for people, like, dying. What yeah. did I do? Make a bad joke? Please. I didn't call it no stampede. I thought, you were, I thought we don't, weren't going to... Yeah, we weren't going to... I need, like a, like, a fan or something where I can just cover my face when I get scared. Chat is thirsting hard for both of you. I'm getting another show note here, so congratulations. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. <laughs> heartthrobs. We love our heartthrobs. I wish I could see it. I wish I could read it the whole show. Yes, well, well, I'll pass on important notes to you. Uh, we had... I'll just go... I'll just blast through these. Worst influencer song was Dink Doink by Logan Paul. I don't know if you guys remember that. Is that really the worst? Ding dong, you're my favorite coin. It kind of catchy. Is it because of the financial damage it did to people's lives or the quality of the song? You know what? I Great think it's, it took in the totality of the corrosiveness and the music itself. The music is a bop. He's a good artist and creator, I think. He's a talent. I believe in CryptoZoo <laughs> still. I think it's... Well, he said it's coming back, so I like it is working. I got inside info, and I'd rather not comment on it. No comment. What did Jeff say? No. Should com we buy crypto? No comment. Too? Let's we get have, in now while it's here low. from Jeff. He's got insider <laughs> info. No, no, folks. no, no. I was I, well taught. I don't know many people on this list, so I can really only give input on my friends, which sucks, you know. But fuck it. Who gives a fuck? Let's let's. It has You're to be done. You're talking about it's Mike. Well, yeah. Mike wasn't involved in the. 
I don't, I don't, let's move past it. I don't even know why it came up. It's, the thing is, Mike was probably going to get probed by the FBI soon, but he'll be fine. <laughs> he, he just tell him the truth. He'll be fine. Probed? Just, just let me explain myself. Not like annually, but like questions. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or, I don't know, the FBI has pretty advanced interrogation methods, so maybe they will annually probe him. Yeah, no, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. Are they going to go up his ass for information on this Logan I can Logan see the Night Shift episode. Now. I shit my pants today. Great sound bite. Excellent. What's up, Mike? If you're watching at home, I I will take it easy, all right? Mike, I try to tell you time and time again, you gotta... You just gotta... I think you gotta just do your own thing at this point, bro. Why was he not called back for this? Because we had such a good BFFs episode. Because there, well, there's only there's only room for three people at this. I'm Actually, surprised you, you got a lot of tables I like here. your guys' dynamic. As you said, the frenemies. Yeah. Because if I brought Mike, you just take over the show. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> This show would be 50% his laugh. And then like a, like a stolen like, like Steve Harvey <laughs> motivational yeah, speech exactly. or something. Yeah. We're, they, we're not here to be motivational. No, no. I understand. We're here to I never pass. am, really. Yeah, we're here glad, to be catty. I'm glad we got, we got that figured out, why Mike is not here. Yeah, he's, he was not invited. Burning question. In fact, he's not allowed in the building if he does attempt to show. Fair. Uh, the biggest cringe moment last year was Keemstar and Aiden Ross's stream. Uh, worst influencer scam actually was Austin McBroom's YouTubers vs. TikTok mm -hmm. boxing event. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that was a good one. one. That was a good one, yeah. That's a good worst one. award show. There was actually only one nominee, the Streamies. <clears throat> and they did they, they, they took that? Contest. Yeah, they won. Uncontested. The Streamies. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate the dead eye contact he gives me every well, time you know. the Streamies. <laughs> Uh, the biggest, this feels illegal, but for some reason nobody faces consequence award was, of course, James Charles, uh, uh, allegedly, not really alleging, he admitted it, to sexting minors. Sister are snatched. I heard that you are a, <laughs> I heard that you are a James Charles hater. That, that was true? just like a, an instinct to clap, really, like I couldn't fight my own arms, you right. know what I mean? It was just like, fuck. Like, oh. Right. Um, well, I don't, I also, I'm clapping right there with you, sister. I was gonna say sister. Yeah. Sister. <laughs> um. Most shameless clickbait God, was the LeBrant family. He click. It's called. She got diagnosed with cancer. He clickbaited his daughter being diagnosed with. Did cancer. you see their like anti-abortion documentary too? Yeah. That, see, you you know this. This is why you. What did they say in here. that? She's great. She's yeah. great. At what this did stuff. they say in the anti? There was just one line. It had something to do <laughs> with comparing it, comparing abortion to like a mass genocide, yeah, a holocaust. Yeah, I was scared to get clips saying the words. He goes, <laughs> yeah, the LeBrant family, good Christian family. They go. They say six million Jews died in the Holocaust. Well, a hundred million fetuses are killed every year. So I had a you tell me viewing. I had a viewing party for that video at my house. I needed every single person I know to see that. Like I don't. I don't think. I love that you, so much. I don't think you can be my friend. Like if you haven't seen that, it's, I'm gonna stop dissing the Nazis I don't, I don't all the time. I haven't seen it. <sighs> yeah, I I'll put you on. We'll watch it on the podcast. Honestly, okay, it's really good. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, most uh, hmm. let's see. Best YouTube drama news coverage was Def Noodles, who uh, had quite a year. He loves me. Some categories are cursed, and apparently that's one of them. I, I wanted to see what I was getting into today, and I watched last year's, and I saw that you had him as a co-host. Yeah. If that's any predictor from your guy, where you guys will go from here, not good. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I almost didn't show up after I saw that. Yeah. I was like, this is what we are now? But no, I, re I, realized, I realized that we had to come in and clean up the mess that's going on over here. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Need you're help? Used to, you're used to cleaning up messes. Mm -hmm. Usually involves, you know, heavy machinery, but... To... All right, enough, enough, enough of that. Yeah. Um, and and uh, let's see here. Oh, well, this one includes you. Best attempt at murdering your friend. Shoe in was David Dobrik, of course, slamming you into that. So does that mean he won? Uh, so I don't, get any, I don't get a piece of that? No, he won that award. But, like, again, attempting to murder your friend. You're the That's friend. the award you want. But, to, like, if you go to my Wikipedia page or something, would that be in my awards section? Do I get no. any of that? No, no. credit for that? No. And I... It's no. not fair. Well, <laughs> well, we could... we could. I mean, he's got a point. Yeah, we could we could work it out with the Wikipedia people. I would like that. Might be able to help it. you in court. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> the, uh, recognized by the uh, prestigious Steamies. <laughs> Worst midlife crisis, Keemstar, most dramatic creator, Gabby Hanna. So that was last year. <laughs> <laughs> And that's true, right? I mean, she had a heck of a year. Now, this year's categories <clears throat> are a little bit different. 
they're, they're catered to the year. We've had a big year this year, different than last year. Um, the ruining of a young generation of men award is a, is a new category. Mm -hmm. mm, Andrew Tate. Yeah, and Tate, the Tate, the Tater Tots. Yeah. Love a Tater yeah, Tot. Yeah. So, no! so he's the winner of that. Well, I, he, he, you know, some, it's like, you know, when Daniel Day-Lewis played Lincoln, did we think, did we think he wasn't going to win the Academy Award? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, there's other nominees, but come on, do the math. Uh, worst influencer scam. That's a returning category. Oh. Yeah. Me, like, counting my... What's tit coins at? What's tits coins at? <laughs> What's it trading at this year? I forgot about that. Uh, I never heard of this tits. You didn't coin. know about tits coin? No, Pitch. I don't remember much about it to be honest. I can't keep up with I all my friends' much crypto about scams. It, to be honest. You know, there's just too many. I did a couple little crypto brand deals and then realized it wasn't my. Oh, so but lane. You, you just got paid for it. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was never crypto zooing. I was never okay, spearheading. Okay. We can forgive that. only coin. We can forgive. You know, that. we can forgive that. That biggest, crypto shit. Biggest cringe moment is a returning uh, category. Love. Worst national brain rot discourse. Little wordy, <laughs> but it's a new category, and we're just talking about. It's really just the most uh, deranged, horrible discourse. You know, we'll get into the nominees there. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dumbest fat man bad. Ela's ugly moment again. That this is a new category. Anytime someone wants to start beef with me, they call me fat and Ela ugly. It's happened so many times. We actually created a category for it, so that'll be interesting. Not me. Not when we beef though. No, that's because you're a real man, dude. You're a gentleman. My man. <laughs> Here, bro. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too late. Though. I took other uh, <laughs> routes, but we'll respectable save those for routes later, later in the show. Yeah. By the way, please, please don't wear your glasses because I made you feel insecure. You're no, you did it. You, you did the you same thing to me that you did to that girl. And no, actually, let me not Sorry, hold say on. that. We're live. Shredder just yacked. Oh, no. Just a little. Shredder. Bit. You okay, Dadder? Shredder, I relate to you, now. man. <laughs> All right. <coughs> yes, um, where are we? Yes, uh, most shameless clickbait. Shredder's yakking really loud. Worst apology. Most unhinged TikTok account, which is a new category. Uh, what the hell happening? Dear God, somebody please do something award. Well. Yeah. Worst award show is a returning category. Greatest mm -hmm. redemption arc. You both are uh, nominated. Spiciest drama. And of course, most dramatic creator. <laughs> and so basically, as I said, the, the winner was selected. We put out a comprehensive Google uh, kind of an Excel sheet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we sent it out to the people. And... Um, they voted, so these are all uh, voted on by the people. And let's just people. start. Let's just get. Wow, right. we have dumb. all here. of the results right here in these envelopes. Every Good job. Wow, is right here in these envelopes. Wow. The first category is the ruining a generation of young men award. So we have a little uh, stinger here to honor our nominees. <clears throat> the ruining a generation of young <laughs> men award. Andrew Tate. <laughs> I love this that photo. is probably 40% of the reason I have to remain. If you go to the police and say he raped me back in 1988, so we should have done something about it then. If you go to the police and say he raped me yesterday, say, okay, have you got physical evidence? Or right, is there CCTV proof? Police would be like, okay, she's an idiot, bye. No more fucking rapist. But I like the idea of being able to just say to, to do what I want. Fresh and fit. I think if you're in a serious relationship with a girl, she should not have an Instagram. That's cheating. Oh, and I, I saw think that. for women, attention is like sex for men. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you know, powerful. women love that attention from, from you the opposite gender. You give a man a microphone. How if you're in a serious relationship, relationship with a girl, and she still and has a for sale sign on her neck, I think that's very disrespectful. Like, there's a gun off camera, for sure. Why is this fat ugly still talking about ugly people? You are literally the ugly of the group. Why and the I reason she allow? doesn't realize how ugly yeah, she is is because she's went three that are all better than her. So she thinks that she's on the same level. Kanye. <laughs> and, and the Nazis, in my view, were thugs. It shut people down to a lot of really bad things. But they did good things too. We're gonna stop dissing the Nazis all the time. <laughs> Man, I don't like Nazis, and I don't like what some of the this mafias are doing either. Like oh yeah. You're not a wow. Nazi. You don't on the deserve podcast. to be called that a demon. Well, this? I, yeah. Really? I, I, see, I, I see good <laughs> things <laughs> about Hitler also. I was gonna come in here with that mask on today because all the shit you've been stirring up. I didn't want to show my face that's on fair, the show. That's fair. I'm, thank you for, and thank you for not doing that. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, we got some <laughs> stiff competition there this year. Do you think that um, the Romanian prison will accept the STEAMY award, or will they consider that contraband? Wow. Um, no! I'm sure somebody, one of his tater tots, will shove it in their ass and bring it in, contraband. Okay, okay. that's what we need. That's what we need. You know, I'd like to point something out about Tate that I've noticed recently that I find really funny. Jeff's he, the stand. Don't let him No, no, the like, yeah, no, no. He doesn't think I should drive. That's you don't not think, true. Does, she, does he make you? Walk she does not drive. Yeah. She she doesn't have a driver's license. She's never driven a car. So yeah. But if, I think if, it's because I'm a woman. If it comes down to her. No, I don't think she should drive. She's it's, legally not allowed. Because I'm a I woman. Think, I think that you not having a license is internalized misogyny. That's ex- that's what I've on been herself. Yeah, to tell on him. herself. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> you don't believe in yourself enough it's to internal. drive. It's internal. You don't even not know. Not my it's problem. There. No, we've I had other instances. We've had other instances where you. I wanted to point out a thing about Tate that you could tell. That the man is a liar and a hypocrite just off of this. Okay. He said that men should not have hair because it's a sign of weakness and I guess it, hair? Like, yeah. Did he yeah. say that? Yeah, yeah, you don't it, men tough men don't need hair. That's right. And he chooses to shave his own head. Okay, Dan, sorry for you to get caught in the <laughs> No, no, I'm just saying. Dan's a bald king. Yeah. So he his argument this was one that, good take. You know, Ah, you don't need hair. Men don't need hair. You know, just make money and all that. Mm-hmm. And he mm-hmm. chooses to shave his head because of those reasons. But now that he's incarcerated, doesn't have the tools to shave his head, you could see that it's other reasons that like cause wet this. rat. Yeah, the hair don't grow up here. It doesn't grow. Actually, up here. it looks like he had like a botched hair transplant as well. That is true. That yeah. could be one of the things. So well, I didn't know he said that. So he that is a that. very good point there. And, and so here, let's open the envelope. I'm gonna do the first one, and then we'll rotate. But basically, there's a lot of factoids on here. So, the winner of Ruining a Generation of Young Men Award goes to, with 68.6%, it's Andrew Tate. And I mean, listen, there was, yeah, and there was a lot of competition here, but he really just did a lot this year, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fresh and Fit was in second place with 10%, Kanye 9.8, Sneeko with 12%, 12%, Jordan Peterson was on there with only 1.5%, so better luck next year, Jordan. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's the, the congratulations, and this is, of course, Andrew Tate. Steamy will be sending this to pr- Romanian prison and just hoping for the who would Who do you think would be a good candidate to take that, uh, shove that up their ass and bring it into the jail as contraband? Well, all of his associates were arrested, too. Yeah, maybe Aiden. I mean, he would need somebody <laughs> that hasn't, yeah, probably Fuck no yes. priors. You know, somebody clean that could get Aiden. in there. Aiden, if you're watching this, we're going to need to put this in your ass. <laughs> so start practicing, buddy. There it is. Congratulations. All right. So what much a, excitement, you guys. Uh, what, a what a night. Thrill. What a night. <laughs> what a night. All right. I give this honor to you, Jeff. The worst influencer scam. Oh, that could be. Oh, oh, <laughs> all right. Go ahead, roll the slider, please. This is gonna be worst fun. Worst influencer you scam. You want me to? I might Logan watch Paul for another. Oh, and okay. there he is. There he is. It's a really fun <laughs> game that makes you money. Yeah. <laughs> a fun game that earns you money. How much did you guys make from CryptoZoo? I lost around fifty thousand dollars in crypto. It's such I a lost great. forty thousand dollars. <laughs> I lost around fifteen thousand US dollars. I lost twenty-five thousand dollars. That's such a great fucking dollars. Five hundred thousand uh, dollars. Pa- five hundred thousand. Half a million in crypto. Oh no! A lot of Ice eggs. Poseidons, CX coin. I, mean, I could create a CX coin and then people could buy it because I could say that the community is super strong and then I could sell it in 10 seconds and make $10 million. Ice Poseidon just scammed his followers for up to half a million dollars. I'm trying to like get you to return the money because it's 100% still available and you could do that. Yeah, I could (laughs) give the money back. It is within my power, but I'm going to look out for myself (laughs) and not do that. What a guy. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Pause it. Pause it. We Hello? actually have a special message from Ice Poseidon on his nominee. This, so this is a rare treat. Go ahead. This is him responding to his nomination. I don't know what that is, but you are talking about H3H3. H3. That guy's a fat loser. <laughs> he just got himself in another category. <laughs> he's got nominated again. Fat loser. Well, he didn't call it. Fat man bad. Okay. Yeah, he was oh, it's got to be both. Yeah, it's got to be, be double win. 
fat Influences and bad. Influences promoting safe moon got sued. Filed as a class action lawsuit by these guys. Got They're coffee suing the all safe over moon this team show. and several influencers who promoted safe. Quote, the misleading they promotion didn't know. and celebrity endorsements these people were able did to not artificially know. increase the interest they don't price deserve it. of the safe I moon agree. tokens during the class period. Nominated. Causing investors Safe to purchase these losing one. investments at inflated prices. Ty Lopez NFTs. Not, no, not not Ty Lopez. I want to talk about my NFT project <coughs> called OG Original Garage Social Club. Never By does. selling a chance oh, to win ten thousand dollars in a one-on-one -on -one basketball game. I don't think he's in jail all yet. All you have to do is pay fifty thousand dollars. How about watching a movie with Ty Lopez for only thirty thousand dollars? But <laughs> just know you're not going to be the one to pick it. Lana Rhodes uses the Ukraine war to distract from a rug pull. She fired back at me today, I, saying you shouldn't worry about the. NFT. Yeah, she's a nice Don't you know girl. there's a war going mm -hmm. on? Saying people who are concerned about her scamming investors are being stupid because, quote, people are living in fear for their life in Ukraine right well, now. That is and a, people that are worried about NFTs? What made, does this there. world come to? I don't feel like it needs it, but um, <laughs> we know. We know, Lana. Two I bad love things her. can happen at the same time. <laughs> well, girl, there it is. That's, there not, it that's is. not great. We oh. love it. We love it. Wow. So many good ones in there. Now, again... <clears throat> There's one that stands out to me. I think I know which one's going to bring this one down. What is it? Which one is that? It's got to be, in my opinion, the crypto zoo. <laughs> oh. That one was such I think a it's magnificent. Also the freshest in people's minds. <laughs> right, yeah, right. You know yeah, what I yeah, mean? It's just fresh. It, but in terms of like how. It could come back around. You know, it's not done yet. Right. It's, it's, worse, it's too soon to call it a scam. Yeah. So. I'm I, dying for I don't a PNG know. image of a mirror. Should cat. I just open this up? Go yeah. ahead and rip, just rip it open, Jeff. All right. Here we go. This is exciting. Worst influencer scam winner, Logan Paul and Crypto Zoo with 59.4%. <laughs> you know, you know what? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. You know, when I first heard of this and I watched the CoffeeZilla episode, the first one, I said, you know, I wish I was around back then because I would have got in on the action early, mm. like Mike. Brown, no, brown no, 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 I'm kidding. Mike Mike said that he had he he didn't get in on any action. No, and I believe But um it. it's tough for me to comment on this because you know Go ahead. I mean uh, I I am I am friends with Logan. A criminal? Oh, I mean sorry. <laughs> I am friends with a lot worse criminals than <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. One of them came to my house actually. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, so um <laughs> look. I don't know. Uh, I'd like to say uh no comment. What did, did Absolutely. You could plead the fifth. Well, no. That, that incriminates yourself. You could say no comment. You listen. Could pass. You could pass. Listen, you know, it's it's a good it's a good <laughs> idea. It was a good idea the little animals and the eggs, you sure, know. Yeah, no. Never been thought of before. Um yeah, so uh, you know, I'm going to just go ahead and say uh congrats Logan, you know. Hopefully um <laughs> maybe next you, year uh, uh, best redemption arc, Logan Paul. That's good. That's you a know good what? way to look at it. Keeping it hope you got to go low to get back and and get the, hit the highs again. And he just did a great job in that wrestling match. Did you guys see that? that was he was did, phenomenal. Yeah, that was great. Phenomenal. It's great. Yeah, yeah. but uh, actually, uh, in second place was Safe Moon, interestingly. 15%. Ty Lopez, 10%. Ice Poseidon. Uh, hi, Ice. Thanks for the comments. That scumbag deserved to win this. You know, what the, what the fuck? And Lana, I'll have you know, a very nice, sweet Lana Rose. She didn't know what four, she was getting into. 4%. Yeah. He's barely on the charts there. Yeah. Yeah, but Logan Paul definitely, I mean, he he really deserved that one this year. Like, I feel like he really took it down this year. I don't really give a fuck, but thanks for letting me know. <laughs> 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 that is uh, Logan Paul when he, someone told him that, that he had COVID and he was hanging out with him the day before. Oh, yeah. That's from a few years ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, I mean, Ethan, I have friends that say this shit to me too. So, uh, you know. I just want to be honest here. I can I can come on here and just say yes to everything, but I have a lot of scumbag friends that I'm still involved with, and that's unfortunately. It. You, 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 know? you know, just because someone does something wrong doesn't mean that you stop being their friend. Right. That's what life is. Look at her. You know what she did? She invited four thousand people to a, a, a event that only a venue that only held a hundred people. Oh my god, I forgot about that one. You know, Man, you would have swept these in that year. Yeah, and now I she's know. my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's why I was quiet during the whole ask. Yeah, <laughs> I, feel, I feel that. I feel that. I yeah. understand. Well, we all have our controversies, don't we? But since you're friends with Logan, I figure maybe you can um, deliver it. Drop it off to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's uh, uh, like about 240 pounds of solid muscle right now, so I'm going to give it to Mike to give to him. Yeah, that's, that works. Thank you. Thank you. He's out of my weight class. Yeah. Um, well, up next, quite an interesting category. This one's for you, Tana. We're talking about worst influencer boxing match. Oh, this is a good one. Why can you read this one? This one. It's Contrary to random. popular belief, I can read, so I will be reading this. Um, um, so, do we have so, a first? Uh, or do well, I? yeah, let's roll the, uh, okay, the category. Worst influencer boxing match moment. Matt Watson versus Dad. This one's so good because of the aftermath. That was a bad one. With Joe Rogan when he... <laughs> That's yeah. your son. There it is. And we're watching you beat your son up. Because I get your son probably got cocky with you, but Foosie oh, versus Deji. Oh, I was there for this one. I lived for that. I lived for that. Poor Foosie, man. I lived Ryan for that. Taylor headbutts opponent. Real ugly, oh, dude. Oh, Real oh, ugly. Oh. Not cool, dude. Yeah, what are you, trying, the fuck what you, are you trying to do? Dr. Dr. Mike <laughs> pretends to touch gloves. Oh, this was real dirty. I dubs. Dr. Mike is definitely Super bad manner. You see that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like that. Dr. Mike's a scumbag, dude. Austin it's not illegal, Boom. but it's just bad. Bad work five shit, times yeah. before the match is stopped. Yes, Chris! Yes! Oh, uh, this we Wait, watched uh, in New York at 4 a.m. and I, I loved every second. This was a great fight, actually. I was super yeah. happy and also get back to it. And Gib got dropped. That was yeah. such a good. I was playing a drinking yeah. game. Every time he got hit, I took a shot. I don't remember. It was a night. You guys are the perfect. Uh, you guys are the perfect co-hosts. <laughs> I'm serious. I think you took the bottle away from me. You were like, stop. Yeah, you blacked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds fun. We were in New York yeah. for Fashion Week around that time, and yeah, you were very fun drinking. Going to a lot of fashion it. shows. Yeah, you was, see that. she was going to yeah, a lot yeah, of fashion yeah, shows. Yeah, I see that. I was in my hotel room watching that uh, while she was out at all these fashion shows. All I was right. in, in my hotel watching a YouTuber boxing match. Was it really fashion shows? You're saying it like it was something else. It does kind of sound yeah, like some underground like, New York yeah. cartel drug shit. Well, no, no I was, she went to the box, which is a club that the performers shit into their hands and throw it at the audience. You went. Oh, that's odd. I, he was there. <laughs> I, you dragged me there, yes. yes. One of those nights. Uh, oh, well, that's... But the highlight was the boxing match. Little after party we had viewing that. It was good. Well, it Tana, do we us were the... a celebrity, a big time A-list celeb. You know, we won't say, but we can drop. Are you, are you, you trying know? to name drop? No, 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 no. What happened? We can't we get into it. We made a very you, you, important you. celebrity join us to watch that Austin McBride. Oh, he fight sat with you. They Which sat was with very you? yeah. So who? So give me a hint. What are we dealing? What are we talking about? Like what gender? Here, what right? gender? A boy. Um, a, a male. Yeah. Cis male. <laughs> Actor. Um, Joker. A funny man. Yeah. Cis male funny man. Played played the Joker. One of the one Leonardo of the ones. DiCaprio. Jared Leto. Did he we made him watch kids? Austin McBroom. You guys hung out with Jared Leto. It's either him or Jack Nicholson. He's a weirdo, right? <laughs> it was just one, iconic, one, like yeah, sitting there. Not here. Watching yeah. Jared Leto watch Austin McBroom get knocked out. That's so interesting. Was life. he confused by that? What, what was Honestly, the no. He was like He's into a big it. fight fan. Big fight fan. Are you guys still in touch with Jared? Should we give him a No. Run? No. I mean, no, no, no bad blood, but he was just with another uh, one of our friends. So. I see, I see. Worst influencer boxing match moment. Well, name drop. Yeah, you know? I love that. Good love opportunity. Yeah. He has a cult. You guys are That's aware of that? That's being a woman, you know, it's like... Uh, so no, Tana, stop it. I'm not aware of it. I have heard of some stuff, but I'll ask him next time we're watching the next Austin McBroom fight. Yeah. What's the deal with that cult stuff? He's a weird guy, man, that Jared Leto. He's got a cult. They do retreats. It's all women. Sounds I mean, sick. Sounds like it. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Maybe, you, maybe you'd be interested in maybe that. Maybe I'll get the invite. You know, yeah. we could go out there. If I fall off, I think I'm he straight. he only allows one guy, him. So, does he? I don't think you get the invite. Oh, I don't know. We're pretty, much. we're pretty tight. Maybe he'll allow. You me are handsome. Me. Maybe, maybe, depending on how handsome of a man he is. You know, he was the guy that Christian Bale killed in American Psycho. Did you know that he was Paul Allen? I did not know that. Oh my god. Act. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that now. I, I guess I remember that. Crazy, right? That he's yeah. been doing it for a long yeah, he's time. He's been around. He's he won an Academy it. Award. 
Yeah, incredible. I still don't really understand. Incredible, but let's stick <laughs> to the topics Joker, here because we could talk about Jared Leto all day. The winners, please, Tana. I'm, I'm, very, I'm horribly uh, apologetic for no, talking over you. I think Jeff just had to get a little name drop out. <laughs> yeah, and we love that. Was that was you. That was all you. <laughs> Worst influencer boxing match moment. The winner is Dr. Mike pretends to touch. Oh, that. You know what? Shocking. You know what? There was a lot of competition this year. Yeah. And I'm super happy because I thought that was just so scummy what he did. And, yeah. and I love to see that. And these are all, it's a, it's a pretty even, like, you know what I mean? Matt versus dad was 22.3%. Okay. Austin McBroom knocked something. I can't read that. 21.7%. Oh, wow. Wow. Fousey versus Deji was 16.5%. Brian Taylor was 12. And how much did I the mean, winner get? The winner, it was a real tight race. Only 27% second place at 22%. Oh my goodness. Did you take that out of my hands? Because Wait, women wait a second. Race? He did snag that. Tour. Oh, and I Austin McGroom was... right behind with only 1% lower in third. Wow, this was a super tight yeah, race. That's our closest no, race yet. Matt versus Dad is just so funny because the aftermath with Joe Rogan. Fousey versus Deji. I don't know if you guys have the same YouTube suggested videos that I get, but I get a lot of the ones that say... Um, boxing before and after like gone bad or something <laughs> right so it's all the stuff of Fousey like I got in this great shape worthless. for this <clears throat> and his body looked incredible and then he got beat up by this pudgy kid it did look good you know so that one is pretty good too I by see way, why it's such a tight competition here interestingly Fousey also won creator of the year at this at the streamies <laughs> did he yeah actually? and and he gave this iconic speech of, I felt Please. worthless this is no gold I felt way. ugly I felt gay I felt that no, uh, that, like that. This is what <laughs> no, they told no. me. <laughs> <laughs> he tried to catch himself. And that aired on the streaming. Oh yeah, he went. I, and then they cut to Lily's. Yeah, Lily Singh's face, because I think she's bi or lesbian. Yeah. So he goes, "I felt gay," and then they cut to Lily Singh's. Awesome. Do you think he prepared that speech? Because it sounds like he was almost reading it off a teleprompter, and then. I don't think that would have been on the table. Yeah, that's what no, YouTube but would no, do though. Like yeah. write out a speech he, that horrible and be like, okay. "This is dope." Fuzzy and then is the type of guy that always has a speech prepared. Well, he's not used to uh, faking. Uh, I'm trying to work the fake pranks angle. It's not super elegant. Well, he so he's always got a speech prepared. Like even after the fight, he had a great losing speech. Okay. So he probably went in there like, "I'm gonna have this great winning speech wow. if I win." This great losing speech. And then I saw him after, and I was like, yo, that was a great speech that you gave after you lost. Because I couldn't say anything about the fight. So there wasn't really anything. But the speech about, you know, how we, all the people that were going to uh, unalive themselves and that didn't because of his body transformation. I do appreciate nice. that. Yeah, so that was cool. I didn't kill myself because Fousey Tube got You got in abs. great shape? <laughs> you know what? You discount that, Tana, but I'm no, sure no, Fousey's abs saved lives. Mine. Yeah, it's a <laughs> testament. You know what I mean? I was gonna like, and I was like, nah, he's ripped, bro. I got shit to live for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we love that. Yeah. Well, um, what a fantastic evening so far. Uh, a little surprise, a couple surprises, a couple shoe ins. Does that mean your live's not living? Yeah, I, th I get banned. The tater tots math report me. I believe every it. time, and I get banned for hateful. Wow. Well. But then it's weird. It's weird. This is a big category. This is one that I care deeply about. Of course, it is the biggest cringe moment. Ooh, we love the big one, guys. Oh, oh, by the way, the um, Doctor Mike, this. do we have Doctor? I didn't. Yeah, so Doctor Mike, I think he lives in Florida. So, um, if you have a PO box or something, check that. We'll yeah, we're gonna mail it to your fucking house, yeah, Doctor Mike. Yeah, with some anthrax. <laughs> Because he's say that doctor. Doctor. Don't say I, I doctor. feel like I need to say something real quick. Doctor Mike is really nice guy. I, I know, I know, I know. He, he's super yeah. nice. The he reason nice I said anthrax is because he's a doctor and he would know what it was. Thank you, Doctor Mike. Obviously, I don't <laughs> have access. We're to gonna doctor. drop that off at your fucking doctor's <laughs> office. Dr. Hey, Doctor Mike. He's a nice guy. You're a nice guy, but a little scummy in the ring. It's a cheap shot. It's a cheap shot, Doctor Mike. We don't like what you did out there, Dr. Mike. But you could redeem yourself next year. Next time. 2023 steamies. You, you gotta give your opponent a kiss on the lips. All right, here we go. Biggest cringe moment. Uh, the nominees, please. All right, here we go. Biggest cringe moment. Dreams face reveal. Oh, poor dream. Hi. Everyone thinks he's so deep. So Talking to no, the he's camera fine for the looking. first time. He looks fine. I think the whole thing was just a lot. 
Why are you kind of... Addison Ray's dad beefs oh. with Young Gravy. Yeah, that was rough. How do I vote? <laughs> this gave me, like, an incurable S. Oh, damn, dude. He is wild. Damn. He is wild. Aiden Ross I'll never forget where I was when I saw that video. Sniffs really? Andrew That's like how much like 9 <laughs> Aiden Ross sniffing Andrew Tate's chair, of course. <laughs> Even as a shield. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm brainwashed or I'm trying to dick suck. No. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how you look at the shades. Hold on, hold on. Put the shades on. Oh my god. I don't keep up with this. I don't you look like Pitbull. Gary V hosts <clears throat> VCon. <clears throat> I really wanted to do something Con. really special. Sounds like my kind of guy. That were actually at VCon. I created this remarkable new exclusive character just for VCon. The Pfeiffer. There it is, guys. Exclusive. Doja Cat beefs oh. with Noah Schnapp. I Schnapp. love Doja, but this was pretty cringy. Uh, I'm just going to say something right now. The Noah Schnapp thing. I'm like trying to be super fair. That That's some Noah shit I would do. That. Like when I, I posted really. a private conversation, unbelievably like socially unaware. It's the TikTok unaware filters of people buying whack. shit while she's like you apologizing. Know what I mean? like, it's my favorite, favorite thing Snake ever shit. when someone's like, it's it's so good. Good. Gets again, Kim some shit I would do. Branding and tattoos Daddy of does no wrong. So hot. That's Someone pretty bad isn't though. A tattoo. You gotta it's admit. actually a branding. You guys know wrong about it. comedian also debuted some her new kids? ink. The tribute to the 41 year old reality star. He wants to be their daddy. He wants to be their daddy. What the fuck is that? I don't know, man. Oh, yeah, this was, was really embarrassing. With oh, this is married uh, yeah, to the crazy. Model. I'm sure you know who. I made so much fun of her online, and then I saw her at a restaurant. And she's like, hi, and I didn't know who she was. Like, it blows my mind. You are 50 times hotter in person, and so am I. You were one of the girls you hit up, right? Yeah, I'm one of the Adam Lee. Did he really? Oh. He was giving me cheese. I didn't even, I didn't even yeah, see the category, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just it's automatically... Biggest friend, yeah. Um, now, this no, like, is what a is real cut. jerky. Excuse what are they sharing, a cheese plate? <laughs> fight on stream. I have to go all the way. I don't have any things above my head all fucking day. I fucking can't do this with you anymore. You are not a victim okay, here. I'm, you have never no. been a victim okay. here. Okay. I'm I have no idea. With you. You are he's not a he's, he's, he's breaking up with his girlfriend. I'm sorry. I hate 2022 and 3. There it is. What a stack. Kind of lit though. Now hold on. What did um, what did uh Adam? I don't uh, know. You know when someone like sends you a DM and they unsend it, oh, you can go and it says like accept or ignore, like and it they, like shows that they sent it and he backed it. out. I don't know. Or she never opened. You never opened it. Like I never saw it. What do you he think? But he unsent it because if like oh, okay. even if I never opened it and I went to go look, it would still be there. Like. Mm -hmm. He had to unsend it for that like screen. Is that a real thing or is that like a, a Sunday morning thing? rain was falling uh, that messages disappear or the accept thing? I think it is cuz I've yes. experienced that too. Yeah, or someone Ooh, I want to do that on your phone What I want to see all the people who have slid in on you and unsent. Okay, you want to do a live on, on sure. the show here at some yeah. point? Yes, Okay. I'd love to do that. We'll get to that after the winner is announced. So, um, are we allowed to make a prediction? Please, I'd love, to, I'd love to hear your prediction on that one. Um, I forgot the <coughs> nominees. I think it was the I first one. I just want Monty Lopez. I'm Monty Lopez, like, yeah. I feel like his is not as popular because he's not that big of a name, but he deserves to win this. And I hope that the voters pulled what through were the other one? and gave it to the right guy here. Because the Aiden Ross, Andrew Tate, they're so... I feel like that's going to win, it's though, a knowing your audience. Presence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but he was trolling in that clip when he sniffed the chair. It was joking. Yeah, around. no, it was a joke. I so know I don't that. think, you I know... <laughs> I think because sure. he was trolling... He sniffed I, a little too deeply. I think he was curious, but it was a joke. joke. Swing and a miss, right? Yeah, but I, I don't think that qualifies as cringe if he's putting on an act, okay. you know? So I think it has to go to so Monty because he is pure cringe and it's genuine, it's real, it's down, it's in his bones. You feel so bad for Addison Ray that that's yeah, her dad. Mm -hmm. And then her mom also apparently slept with Young Gravy. Like, she's got a live I don't think that. she slept with Young Gravy. I talked to her about it. Maybe she was lying to me, but I don't I think did. she was. I talked, well, we talked to him about it. And no, I don't know. That's I didn't Mintel talk to that. that I was. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to stir, yeah. the, stir the pot. Really, really, really sly there. Yeah. Really sly. <laughs> I love Sherry. I love Addison. Monty, yeah. on the other hand. And we love... Playing traffic. Though. I think you guys are downplaying one that's really intimate to this community, which is, of course, Keemstar feeding Fousey Tube uh, maple syrup on a little dollop of it with a fork. 
That's what I see in my sleep paralysis. Like, <laughs> yeah. for a fact. <laughs> no question. Um, so this one is, so let's, let's take a look. I mean, my goodness, well, who could it be? This year, 2022, biggest cringe moment goes to, wow, this is unexpected and very close. Dream's face reveal. Oh, wow. That's, see, that's mean. What? That's, I, maybe the I'm, people I don't. spoken and I, I'm, I'm frankly shocked by this. this can is, you. This is an upset. Explain to me why it's cringe. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, I think it was like. <clears throat> Yeah, the fault, the build up to it. Okay. He was doing like all these super cringy collabs with all of his friends, like building it up so much. Like, okay. whoa, I can't wait for Dream's face reveal. Like, really, okay. kind of really cringy. And so he built up this incredible anticipation. Okay. And of course, it doesn't matter really what he looked like. It was gonna, yeah. it was gonna be kind Hell of yeah. cringy. That was him. Yeah. Uh, so I think it was. I mean, I hope it's not people coming at his look. No, I mean, I don't if anyone think so. starts streaming with something on their face, like what do you expect underneath Channing Tatum? Like, he looks good. I don't know. That's what they thought. But uh, no, I don't think they're making fun of how he looks. Yeah, I don't know his great. age, but I would say I'd hit. You would. Good. In oh another life. God. Yes. If he's over. He 18. lost a lot of weight, which I love. Yeah, I, I, love I, that. I could see why. You know, he was feeling himself. He worked hard and wanted to show it off. I don't see it as a cringe moment. I think we got robbed here. This oh, isn't a stunning okay. upset, I have to say. What's the second one? The second one, which was just a 1% different, was Addison Ray's dad. That's so sad. Yeah, that yeah. I, no. And then a 0.3 difference was Aiden Ross uh, shaving his head and sniffing Andrew's chair. Oh, of course, that one's up there. And then only a 0.5% difference was Adam Levine sexting women, followed almost identical to Elon Musk going on stage with Dave Chappelle. That was not in the stinger. Was it? Oh, I forgot about that. Was that was good. Yeah. I forgot. Another about that. tight race. And what did Elon I'm Musk say? Rich. He was just like, "I'm fucking rich." I'm, I'm rich, bitch. Yeah, it was bad. So Is this, this apple goes juice? To, um, this goes to Dream. So I'm listen, Dream. I don't condone this. The people voted. Um, but this is yours, and uh, I do apologize about that. We all think you're handsome. Yeah. Hey, Daddy. Daddy up. Daddy uh, Tana is intrigued. Actually. Don't shoot the messenger, Dream. Yeah. You know. I'm just kidding. But. He's 23, by the way, so He's you're good. What's Thanks your age, for the fact. 24. Oh, you guys are perfect man. I, found, I need I'm to just kidding, him. though. That's just um, cool. Jeff, I bequeath the next award to you, my bequeath. friend. Bequeath. <laughs> Worst national brain rot discourse. I don't understand this one. Well, maybe rolling the nominees will help illuminate for you and everybody maybe watching at home. All right, let's roll them. Ronnie. Worst National Brain Rot Discourse Will Smith slapping Chris Rock Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth I'm going to, okay? The Johnny vs. Amber trial Human being had actually dropped a uh, <clears throat> grumpy fecal matter on the bed Objection, Leedy. Your Honor, I'm going to object on hearsay. He's going to, the my co star. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Objection, hearsay. Her communications are hearsay. Elon buys Twitter. Twitter has been sold to Elon Musk. I decided to do my part for democracy and leave Twitter altogether. Deleted the app. I quit Twitter, so I was just wondering if I could maybe look at yours. Is Andrew Tate innocent so back to the the tate shit have you been in contact with anyone on that side or anything since the fucking arrest went down nah man i haven't he's innocent until proven guilty yeah he is a really good guy man like when i met him he's super chills nothing like I, I, I really like him have you ever looked at his website where he was talking about what his process of getting women for the cam girl thing if he's actually convicted for sex trafficking like it's fuck a really bad thing i heard it was money laundering though that's what right. i heard too but then somebody but who told, knows bro. Somebody oh, told me it's just the don't worry darling drama the moments kept coming inside the theater everybody wondering today and i cannot believe i'm asking this question did harry really spit on chris the video going viral the fans undecided but the headlines are everywhere megan the stallion blamed after being shot a jury has convicted tory lanes of all three charges for the 2020 shooting of Meg Thee Stallion. So if you believe the narrative that he shot Meg, you're gonna probably agree with the fact that he had a, of a concealed weapon in a vehicle, grossly, um, he was negligent in, in discharging that weapon as well, so. 
It is what it is. Again, another massive category. Wow, brain rot discourse makes sense now. Yeah, yeah. It, it's hard to choose, you know. I think like the Johnny Depp one was a huge, I had agree. a huge presence. Um, the Andrew Trump, Tate yeah. stuff had a huge presence. Trump. Will Smith one had a huge presence. Exactly. So between I feel those like three, your fans are gonna pick Tate though. You know what? I hope not. I'd like to see someone else take an award. Yeah. Well, that clip, you uh, you play a big role in that. You were able to get through to Bradley, you influenced him, and he tried to share some of that knowledge, and he got bullied. They bullied the shit He got out bullied, of so that's pretty He's funny. He's a good man. Yeah. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I'm um, sure he, he fucking probably hates me now. He's like, fucking Ethan, all my friends hate me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm an idiot. <laughs> You're a good man, Bradley. Yeah, Bradley, you try to do the right thing, man. Our you know? golden retriever king. He is I, so good. I get it. Yeah. I understand, Bradley. And then also, I understand, um, who's the one that got shot and blamed for it? Uh, Megan the Stallion. Yeah, I could relate to her too. Yeah, you know Jeffrey the Wittick. That was your idea. You asked me to shoot you with this gun. Yeah, you know, so that's rough to hear that. So she might be up in, in there, but I don't think that's as popular. I, don't I think, think so. I, uh, yeah. Well, let's take a look. Let's just get into it. Here we go. Drum roll, please. The winner. Winner of worst national brain rot. Andrew Tate is Andrew Tate innocent. Twenty nine point nine percent. You know what, guys? I mean, listen, it was a really, just the discourse around that was really a nightmare. You know what I mean? So. Uh, second place was Elon buying Twitter. Understandable. That was a big shit show. Yeah. And then Money. third, Johnny and Amber. Money. You know, it's dated. So that's probably why they came in, in third. But. Human fecal matter. <laughs> well, <clears throat> Aiden Ross, I hope you've got a nice, spacious butthole, because that's too unique <laughs> to deliver him now. <laughs> and I'm not quite sure if he, maybe, I think this comes apart, Aiden, if you want to... Do it, compartmentalize it, you can take it out. And now, wait a minute. It. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a word actually for Aiden? Because it's the people defending saying that he's innocent. You know what? You I know? think you might be right. Yeah. Pussy. There you go. So if I ever do visit Aiden Ross, he did send me his address. I'll, I'll drop this off. <laughs> did he just message you his address? Yes, he did. Damn, yeah, can I have that for like research, you know? Just Absolutely. As a How did that come about? Did he you... was like, um, we were having it back and forth. And he was on a stream. He's like, you know what? I'm going to send Ethan my address. I want him to come over and we, so we can, like, talk it out. Mm -hmm. And I didn't see, I didn't know the context. I just got a DM from him. And I was like, what do you want to do with this? And then I saw the, the VOD the next day. And I was like, okay, I'm going I'm gonna go to Aiden Ross's house. I was gonna, just going to show Were up. Were you just sick day. of responding to videos? Because I just kept seeing the little small box of you guys reacting to each other. And then it was, it was running out of room. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you're like, yeah, now yeah. we got to meet in person. Yeah. Good. That's exactly what happened, and I was gonna dress up like Morpheus because I wanted to offer him <laughs> a chance to exit the Matrix, and uh, he dodged me. He didn't even stream that day, and I was prepared to go. So, Aiden Ross, you're a coward. I've been seeing him in the gym. He's been lifting weights. Maybe that's what he did that day. He went to go pump some iron and get his his anger out. Let thinking me ask you a question. I, he, I've been there. I've been hitting the punching bag thinking about you. Oh yeah. Yeah. Damn. So, maybe that's what he was doing that day. He is against masturbating. He is a semen retention. Your thoughts on that? I don't believe it. I think he's just saying that. You don't think it so? You don't think he actually What's is the celibate? point of semen retention to build testosterone? Yeah, it's the, it's not real, but that's what they think. Jack it. Uh, <laughs> wait, are you are you saying that No, I think it's a real thing. It's in boxing. They tell you not to well, release for weeks before your fight. I think it just makes them like yeah, hard intense. I don't think it doesn't increase your testosterone. What was that? <laughs> Sorry, well, I think. Yeah, what, did you, what was that? Said that, that was, was a hard, hard time, time for me. Did she date oh any boxers? God. No. Was there any boxer? Yeah, who, which Not boxer one. was that? No, it was just a joke. Just okay, a joke. sorry. That's a little past it. Um, <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. Um, this one, you have the the honor of doing, Tana. <laughs> the yeah. The dumbest fat man bad. Gila is ugly moment. This is gonna be Two a fun one. I do not agree with. Thank you so Especially much. Especially the Gila one. She is so fun. Yeah. Um, do you think all fat people are wrong just by default? <laughs> I thought you thought that. <laughs> well, that no, I've learned that At, from becoming fat. I've learned that basically you are not allowed to hold people invalidate anything you believe in or do be, just because you're fat. It's quite an interesting phenomenon. Like fat phobia in today's society. Yeah, fat hate. I don't think the two relate, but I think it's an easy jab, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, look at this guy. He's fat. 
I could just say that, mm -hmm. and then it's going to take too long for him to change that about it, and too much work, you know? Okay. So, so then maybe that'll sit in his head, and that'll end this argument, but you don't let Doesn't that ever get no, to you. No, no. You know, you just use that as fuel for your fire. Oh, yeah, baby. Which is good, and I think you, you're setting a good example for people out there, but not for so all much anymore, because you're dropping all these yeah. pounds. You're leaving Well, your... I'm on my way, and thank you for noticing. But you can be like Jared from Subway without the okay. whole pedophilia yeah, thing. Yeah, I didn't like, like that. You could just be like, yo, look yeah. at my pants, and I'm... Chill. Here's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> How do we know that it wasn't the sex with kids that made him lose the weight? Uh, really, really strong point over there, Ethan. Well, but he was uh, doing both. I, I don't, don't, know. don't know if there's a direct correlation. No, I think it was the five dollar <laughs> footlongs, man. There we go. Here we go. Let's Jared, the nominee. Uh, Here we go. Tana brought up Jared. Uh, trigger warning, Tana. He's in jail now, by the way. See, that's why I should be alive. I'm I wonder not. if he gained the weight back in prison. I mean, just to be clear, like, I'm not a Jared from Subway fan. That I'm more clear. of the Yo Quiero Taco Bell dog girl fan, you know? And <laughs> well, yeah. that, whole, that is clear. That whole yeah. thing was bullshit, though. Who believed that he lost all that weight from eating he sandwiches? He spoke at my school when I was a kid in middle uh, school. Oh, yeah. A lot of people. That was, like, a huge freaking campaign for them. That yeah. was, like, that was, like, Subway was the moment. Yeah, really do you remember was. this? I remember it. Jared came yeah. to your he, school. He came to my school. Oh God! Dodged a bullet there, right? Yeah. Well, I don't think he was interested in. in Stop girls. saying things, Santa! Oh my God! Yeah. Um. And I, yeah. And I don't. I don't do know. Well, when you tee me up about like pedophilia and stuff. Well, I All understand. Because right. I take the bait every. I time. think if you did <laughs> well <laughs> with that, it would be a way broader concern. You Here know? come. So. The did you ever see the South Park <laughs> episode where they made fun of Jared? They said he had AIDS. Oh yeah, very but good. It was uh. Yeah, they're very great. good. Very South good. Park. That also okay. is uh, well. They were onto something. A people with AIDS do. All right. Wait. All right. <laughs> yeah. All go right. Ahead. Let's see with this winner, huh? Here we go. <laughs> Dumbest fat man bad. Ela is ugly. Moment. Steve will do it. H three H three. No, he doesn't work out, so I don't, I can't take his. Can't take it serious. Can't take his opinion serious. Damn. I want to be a two hundred fifty pound podcast host <laughs> with <laughs> with an ugly wife and just talk shit about. Oh, he don't dog okay. his wife. I'm gonna dog his wife. Don't. Sneako. And you know that is Ethan decline. He's fat as fuck and he never wants to change. And I know you want an in shape husband, but it is what it is. Andrew Tate. All right. So someone sent me this link. I looked it up. There's this heifer. This out of shape dude. And then there's some other really out of shape chick. And then I realize obviously they're just jealous because they're both obese. Well, I don't watch his fucking channel. I don't watch fat dudes. What the fuck would I listen to him? I would rather sleep in a bed by myself every night for the rest of my life than marry a woman who looked like that. Fresh and fit? Get the fuck out of here if you don't like getting bullied. Go to fucking H3. I don't know. Someone needs to bully and fucking eat the class so he can lose some goddamn weight and get away from that ugly bitch that he's married to. Because this shit is starting to get ridiculous. You say, you say some good stuff on that. What do you think? Uh, I, want, I want to make sure that you're hurt. You're, yeah, we, Fresh uh, and fit. This is me letting you know right now that it is my main goal to go on your podcast. That's the only thing I'm leaving with today. I think you I'll would. delete my Instagram. <laughs> um, That'll come too. I'll come too. Whatever you need. You guys would absolutely <laughs> slay. I would love to see you guys on Fresh and Fit. Right? Yeah, I think you would do really well there. Honestly. Let, let's practice. He goes, all right, so I think that women should basically not work and stay indoors until their husband comes home and then you have to walk behind them when in public mm, mm, mm. thoughts i mean i feel like i would just go low blow i'd be like okay what's your net worth you know what i mean Ooh, that's a good one. I I'd like say, I let's fight think. let's, let's just go outside and fight right now <laughs> you and me that's a good all yeah, our like friends can watch that's awesome. I, you guys really just cut right through the bullshit. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jeff's going to physically assault them, and I'm going to come for their going to money account. shame him. So, uh, <laughs> that's good. Yeah. yeah. What is your net worth these days, Tim? <laughs> I don't know. Should we call Kathy, my accountant? Shout out, Kathy. It's probably pretty uh, good, right? It is. It's it's doing good. I'm about to buy a house. I'm Congratulations. Stoked. I'm very I'm happy thanks, for you. Thanks, guys. It's, it's all nice. feet pics, really. It's not an esteemed... It's very no, but it's very nice. I'm glad you're doing well. Things and Jeff, are good. you're doing well too with the barbershop items and stuff. Oh yeah, well. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing real well. Nice good. plug you gave me over here. Thank Anytime, you for that, man. We and AB it. too. Hey, oh, I got yeah. some nice presents for you right guys, now. but because we were running late today, I don't want to throw it together last minute. So I'm gonna send you guys a nice package this week. Yeah. Genuinely love your products. Thank you. The smell, phenomenal. Thank you. Right, Tana? It's so phenomenal. I love it. <laughs> I use the pomade every day. And um, it's edible too. 
like to. Is it edible? Uh, uh, yeah, it's I all natural like ingredients. Yeah, so you I, like, can eat it. It's not. I don't suggest you eat it. But cracker. What crack, kind of crackers you use the pomade with? Yeah, you know. No, right? the, the, the pomade is not. The deodorant is all natural ingredients. So cracker. technically, you can eat it. I'm like it, telling people to eat the pomade. They're not eat it. Do not eat it. We might Plenty other things to eat. And it's a. Why would you buy this deodorant to eat? You know. Well, I don't know. I mean, Tana says we can eat it, so I'm taking her word for it. I'm trying to get nominated for my next steamy right here, you know. <laughs> Eat the pomade. Death, death wish word. <laughs> Put it in your hair. Look at AB. And, you know, cut to AB's all hair. I, that's all I need to say. Cut to right AB's there. hair. Uh, my, my camera's not oh, working. Shame. Yeah, I oh, look at that. Look at wow. that. Effortless. Look how it pulled. Thank you. Thank you. Would have been nicer if you had a bow tie, but. <laughs> what is it? Would have been nicer if you had a bow oh, tie. It looks better on you. It's all good. Jeff, I use the pomade as well. Oh, Let's hell yeah. I was yeah. waiting for that. Let me see that. I love that shit. Oh, my God. God. Oh wait, we got. Oh my goodness! Look at these guys. Well, and where can you and love I to see it? Well, what about our bald friend over here? <laughs> I don't. I don't use the pomade. You can smear it on your Rub head. The deodorant the, on the deodorant there. smells good. Deodorize your dome, brother. I, I don't sweat out of my dome you too much. That I need that. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Would you, could, would like, you do spike a plug? It? Where can people buy your wonderful uh, beauty? Oh, jeffsbarbershop.com. Thank you. Thank you for that. And you're available on OnlyFans. Tana has an. We have drink. Easy my wine. For that. Thank you, Kyle. That's um, nice. And then OnlyFans, YouTube, all that type of stuff. Oh, have... we liked your wine, by the way. Did you? Yeah, we enjoyed it a lot. I actually couldn't watch it. I'm not even. No, we I gave it a good rating. Wine. Really? Yeah, we did. Wait, I love that. That makes me so happy. The dizzy wine. It was. We all really liked it. Actually, I was. Wait. Getting... Dude, I sipped like half that can, and I was feeling like a little bit. Well, four of those like... little cans equate to a bottle of wine, so it's kind of lethal. Yeah. Um, love but, that. You know, it is what it is. I'm. Yeah. I never got to try the wine because I'm sober, but if I were to relapse, I would do it with Izzy. That's such a compliment, bro. I love mm-hmm. when he says that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm about to move into the cannabis space, though, so I'll have some stuff. Are you really? Is he, yes. uh, such an cannabis, entrepreneur. Cannabis coming cannabis. soon. I'm so excited. And we'll what try that. your cannabis uh, unique in the space? Nothing. Yeah. Place. Okay. Just drop ship, fucking That's, found some pre-rolls, that, you know. Excellent. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, it gets you high. I don't fucking know. I'm yeah, not out there here growing it, it myself. Tana, um, Tana Bis, get you high. <laughs> That's <laughs> just yeah. honestly. That's incredible. All right. All right. Oh. Dumbest Fat Man Bad Gila is Ugly Award. The winner is Steve Will Do It. Really? Steve Will Do It? This Poor is Steve. the most unexpected. Well, I, think unexpected, it's a po- I think it's a like popularity was- contest. This, is, this voting uh, process is becoming a popularity contest. Well, Aiden Ross came in last. Well, the so. thing is... That Steve kind of went all out in a way that other people didn't. He goes, he's fat, and I'm just going to say it. His wife is ugly. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he did go all out, uh, to I, be fair. I want to point is, out a real irony with this, though. Steve Will Do It is the only person on that list who apologized. Yeah, he did apologize. He's the only he one of really all sweet. those people who was, he was apologetic really about it. I'm a stan. I'm a that should, do it that should probably void his... Dining mm-hmm. here. If uh, I he's, thought, it's a little ironic. It up. Also, he jerked off his dog. I don't know if you guys heard about that. But that's not this category. No, jerking off dog, you know, but I was just saying as an aside, <laughs> little fun fact about, uh, about Steve mm. is that he has jerked off his dog. For example, when I jerk off Donnie? Uh, allegedly, of course. Cheers. Like you saw it? He denies it. it. He denies you saw it. it or he said it? He said it, yeah. So, he- can we just talk about how Shane Dawson was wildly canceled for the cat thing, but he just said it. Steve will do it, said it, and he's... On Rumble, thriving. I think, I think Shane maybe wasn't. Maybe it wasn't just this jizzing on the cat, but maybe other things in combination with that. Do you think that Shane Dawson or Jeffrey Star deserve a redemption arc? You know what? I'm not super familiar with all the exploits of um, Jeffrey Star, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. but I can say of Shane. I mean, uh, I mean, I don't know what deserves me. I mean, he's pretty gross, dude. I, like certain I people, I feel like do something that's does he deserve? Un- no, come back no, from he doesn't. Bowl. No, he should get in a hole like Saddam Hussein and fucking stay there. A whole day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and let's fucking Death to all of them. Let's just you know lower them food, and they can <laughs> yeah. shit in the same bucket. That's what I think. <laughs> yeah, I like that. So what like about me made you? Not to make it all about myself. Decide that I deserve a redemption arc. Um, Shane Dawson. He, he made it for <laughs> yeah, by, by comparison, you. you look really good compared to Shane. I mean, what what have you done except, you know, <laughs> a huge job. Uh, uh, I think people died of heat stroke. <laughs> How many <laughs> fatalities were hundreds. there? Hundreds. 20,000. Uh, hundreds yeah. of deaths. Um, hundreds, yeah. 
Um, so, I mean, just like no one Travis died. Scott. No, there were zero deaths. There were no deaths at Tanacon. No deaths. So I think I think everyone's kind of moved on from that. Really the bare minimum around here. <laughs> yeah. and, I and think that, that should be talked about more. You know that, that, that no there were no deaths at Tanacon. I think that's a huge plus. Yeah. yeah. Travis Scott cannot say that. Nope. Yeah. No. Tanacon no. two coming soon. But I think everyone kind of you know uh, worked their way through that. And then what was the other one? Tits coin. I mean, I feel like it's that just wasn't kinda, like a scandal for me. Yeah, it was just that, that just was like, yo, I did a brand deal. Yes. Yeah, so, so you're oh. you're talking about um, <laughs> you're talking about Tanacon. I don't. I, honestly, I don't even remember. All the thing the of the thing about Shane is like you're talking about like sexual deviancy, which is ma very hard to get over. So you're just doing criminal fraud. <laughs> <laughs> which who hasn't participated in? Let's be real. I mean, I ha I haven't done any. <laughs> You've never really been a scammer. No, I've done, I've done other crimes. Well, you kind of are low-key, but... But never since I've become an influencer. Yeah, I think I got it all out of my system. That's what matters. Before. That's fair. Had I had a jail era, maybe you I would have had a little more wit. Yeah. A little more. You know, would have known a little more. Yeah, but just put, be cool now, obviously. Don't do any more scams and fraud and stuff, okay? Yeah. yeah. I, I work on it And we can day. keep it. we can keep it going. Yeah, seriously. But no, I'm very happy that you're, that you're uh, here. <laughs> <laughs> Not in prison. Um, anyway, so yeah, that one goes to Steve. We'll do it. Thirty-four percent, Fresh and Fit, twenty-eight percent, Andrew Tate, nineteen percent, Sneeko, twelve percent, Aiden Ross, uh, five point nine percent. So there it is. To Steve, we'll do it. And I like when people win that we actually have a chance of giving them to. So you probably cross paths with them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you can take that one. Steve, yeah. remind me if I forget. Uh, I got this baby for you. Yeah, but we buried the hatchet. Steve is a good man. And I'll probably bump into him uh, octagon side at a UFC event or something like bring that. that you know? Yeah, yeah, of good, course. Good, man. Thank you so yeah. much. All right, Jeff. Uh, this one's for you, bud. Most shameless clickbait. Ooh. Am I in this one? We'll we see. No. Clickbait. What have you done to earn a spot there, man? Yeah, I don't know. It's all the bathroom boys. I put the blame wait, wait, on no, wait, Don't read it yet. We need the stinger. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Oh. Most shameless clickbait. The quartering. Dude, I'm shitting myself. Ha 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 ha. I'm shitting my basement. It's all dumb. I'm not taking a pause to pee. It's all dumb. Uh oh. Philip to Franco. <laughs> Ethan Klein. in Los Angeles with the last day being the most dangerous street, Skid Row. A lot of homeless people, how they make money, they collect a lot of trash cans and they give them to a place that they give them money to buy alcohol and weed. Be homeless, it's really crazy. Did he actually go through with it? Yeah, he did, but it was like really weird just to like cosplay. I was like... They, they weren't hearing you while I was playing, yeah. so you might want to... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think anyway, she was a Burger King employee this week. I was living for it. Oh, you're talking about Trisha? Yeah. What did she do? You were saying this guy cosplayed as a homeless person. I said that's some... She cosplayed as a Burger King. I, I honestly live for when she does it. Yeah. Praying for the reconciliation of you and Trisha. Oh, brother. That ain't happening. Not in this lifetime. You don't think so? Like, ever? There's stuff... Let bygones be bygones Let's... and do it for the people? There's, there is stuff that... There's stuff that even not even between... Me and Trisha, that goes too deep. What did, you hit, it did she hit you with a crane and then blame you for it to their entire? Well, life? are you, you making up, up with? David? Yeah, are you making up with David? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You know, you make up some, with David, I'll make up with Trisha. Some. <laughs> I started something I shouldn't have. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Some beefs can't be squashed. Some, uh, some people just will never I'll make up be with able to Charles. see eye to eye. We'll have a great fucking week. Wait, what did? What was the falling out with you and James? Um, or just him being a weirdo. We were friends for a really long time and like it's actually I had a friend over yesterday Who was like referencing the era who would always hang out with us and they were like it was so Horrible to watch because you guys couldn't go one hour without fighting like scream fighting like we would Sister. just start we, really? we yes Absolutely. We like did getting not see, angry at each other. Absolutely. What would he like, yell at you about? Everything <laughs> um, And honestly, I will say at that time, you know, 
I was not as equipped in this influencer world, and I probably was late to things, and I probably deserved a, a late couple, at things. He would late to things, for, or you know what I mean. I didn't edit a video on time, but it, it just would escalate so. Wait, you high. edited videos for him? No, for me. Like if we did a collab, he's and I getting was an mad hour at later, you. Like, shit would just escalate crazy. We would fight absolutely Weirdo. crazy, and eventually it kind of just was a mutual decision that like this, and I just. I'm sure he maybe didn't agree with things I did, but I also didn't agree with things he did that I would see, and uh, it, it was just kind of a was, mutual Was one decision. of the things you disagreed with uh, sexting minors? I never saw him sext a minor, I, but... Okay, cool. I, but I... Some of the practices, the, the just ever I don't, we're just very different people, yes, and... Yes, yes. Yeah, you know, slay sister. Sister oh. Snap. Yeah. Well, uh, that is very interesting. So um, let's it's just. in the past. Now I just. It's fun to make jokes occasionally. You yeah, know? we love to I, I'm not. I'm no longer like riled up about it. That's but. nice. It's and he's nice. friends with all my friends. So. All right. Let's love get, you guys. Let's get to the winner I, here. I do find it incredible that like of all the influencers who have been quote unquote canceled. I would find it hard to associate with him. Because he's like a serial predator. All right, should we get to it? <laughs> yeah, we go get ahead. to the, we go get ahead, the winner please. here. This shit is live, so I'm like. All right, really here we go. Most. No, you're smarter than me. You shameless. No, click you're, you're. Bait. I was saying this the other day. It's Sorry, like if you Kate. if you open We're your having career. We're having too much fun here. If you open your career with just not giving a shit like you, like the way you talk, like I almost wish I did that. You know, the way that Jeff can get away with making so much more rogue jokes than I because he's. He's a rogue. It's you like rogue. people say once you apologize for one thing, you've. You know, I mean, not horrible. I apologize things, all the time. Mm. Just apologize yesterday. Like, you what are you doing now? We're doing an apology segment right now. I'm gonna go around and. I have. I got a lot to apologize for. You take it, then. We, we're we've been steering oh, clear man. of everything, so we don't have anything to apologize for at the moment. Oh, it's just me then. <laughs> I'm out. I already did the apology thing yesterday. Okay, so should we get to the winner here? Then? Yes, did please, something please, yesterday. Please, okay, please, please, let's oh, get to the not? winner here. So most. I'll find out. Sure. Can we just yeah, get this done? drum roll? Sorry, I just want to get this over with. You're, you're, you're getting angry. You're angry Irritable. showing. I know. Yeah, it's showing. It's a uh, side effect of brain damage. Yeah, it's showing. It's showing. <laughs> All right, the winner is. Shouldn't be funny, but it is. Brain damage. <laughs> this man is drinking and looking through the glass. Ethan Klein. Uh, <laughs> wow. With okay. 49%. I, wow. I graciously accept this. Actually, I, I'm going to... Do you like to make a speech? Make a yeah. speech. I thought I was gay. <laughs> wow. Uh, this is so unexpected, and what an honor it is here to win a steamy. Is this... Um, this might be my first steamy. Uh, can I get the acceptance uh, music, Zach? Okay, okay, good. I got the... <laughs> yeah, so I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I felt... No, what, that, felt, that's just based no, on what they told me. Like, that's just based on what they told me. No, but uh, listen, clickbaiting is a way of life. You understand after a certain time on YouTube that you just got to do it. 100%. You just can't be the good guy forever. 100%. And sometimes you got to pretend that like, you know, you have cancer. Mm -hmm. Or in the sometimes you just got to pretend that your child has cancer, mm -hmm. like LeBrant family. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that. That's a and I've always said that. Yeah. But wow, what an honor, you know. Thank you to everybody who clicked them knowing that they probably were clickbait. Mm -hmm. And uh, those those videos actually do tend to get more views, believe it or not. So I thank you all for making this possible. Thank you for the vote. And uh, I do think LeBrant should have won this, uh, you know, with that cancer. Saying your child has cancer for clickbait is just that's yeah, you demonic. Bro. You superseded that. I don't know, that's but crazy. But I dedicate this one to the Lebr the, the, the LeBrant family because you are the goat. So thank you guys. And we can't forget about Philip DeFranco. You're in second place. All right, you scumbag. We know what you're doing. <laughs> Do you have beef with Phil? No, I just see his thumbnails, and I'm actually like, you guys both have good thumbnails. Oh, thanks, bro. Uh, yeah, Philip DeFranco with 26 percent. I really blew this this category out. Wow, 49 yeah. percent. Quartering 23. Phidias. Nobody knows who the fuck that is. He got 0.5 percent. So. Congratulations to me. Yeah, well, it is your audience, and they have to deal with the clickbait, so I'm not surprised why they all voted for you, because they're probably pissed off. It's, you, get, you, you make them worried about you. You're in the hospital. I needed surgery. I'm going to die. And then, of course, they click it, mm -hmm. and but then... They should be relieved. I'm okay. 
Well, that's what the, the cat. That's not the way the category is. It's that and they're honestly, being. It's, it's beautiful, you know. He clickbaits that, but you're just online needing surgery, about to die, and you're the honest one. And you don't even clickbait it, or I, do you? I, well, I, um, uh, Did you? I mean, Did how? You how recent I, surgery for clickbait. How am I not going to clickbait it? Not show my face? But it's, no, but it's, it's not. It's not clickbait if it's real. Photoshop an eye open. That's perfect. <laughs> how the fuck would I not clickbait the eye? You okay. Know? No, I, I think that you've got like, a really no. good thing going there with the eye. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thank you for a lifetime yeah, honestly, of clickbait. <laughs> you should thank David, maybe, just for a lifetime of you. I do. Every day I wake up in the morning and thank him. Instagram <laughs> likes. I look in the mirror and say, thank you, David. I saw the I comments the on your surgery post. So much sympathy. I Bad know, bitches. So sad. <laughs> no, I didn't. I just got the surgery. I'm just getting them now for clout. That's you what know? I was thinking. May I? Uh, yeah, I would do that. That was sarcasm in case it's pulled up in a fucking courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, send me the doctor when shit gets real bad. Jeff, are you That's single me. at the moment? Are you? Do you have a significant other? Do you date? Yeah, no, nah, I'm single. Yeah. Are you into dating or are you kind of a single guy? Well, at this moment in my life, I got a lot going on that I need to sort out. And I wouldn't want to bring another... Uh, another person into my life right you want to be there you want to be present yeah yeah and i want to have my my stuff together you know i I don't want this version of me to be what they get you know i I personally think that's uh, you know what i mean as i'm about to shit on everything (laughs) you just said i think it's a defense mechanism though to an extent that you just don't want to let somebody in because the right person would love you and support you tana's talking about herself of course no i'm not Catch me the fuck out of that. We're not doing mess. this, okay? I already told you already. It's not happening. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, but I, I actually. Wait, are you telling me? I don't. <laughs> what? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think Tana. I'm kidding. That was nice to you. That was I think nice. Tana but... makes a very insightful uh, point there. I like our friendship. Like I wouldn't want yeah, it to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. We're are you a... in therapy? Work to work. Yeah, for yo, you? fuck yeah, yeah, good yeah, for you. Good yeah. For you. But sometimes I just go out and I'll run like ten miles, and then I'll call my therapist and be like, "I'm good. I'm good for today. Don't need you. <laughs> Figured it out. That's awesome." Well, but I'm doing it. I'm doing all the stuff, you okay. know. Well, you've got all the baddies in your DM, so they're all waiting for you. Jeff. Can't see them. Can't, <laughs> can't even read them. Damn, shame, shame. Um, this was, one was, uh, goes out to Tana. Big category for you. Worst apology. So everything it, comes full circle, you know. This is a big one, and it's Hyla. Is this a, a special category? As a fellow um, train wreck apologist, I am stoked to read these. Oh, okay, oh, so wait. let's go ahead and roll it, please. Yeah, and I'm sorry. Apology. The liver king. Damn. Yes, I've done steroids. And yes, I'm on steroids, monitored and managed by a trained hormone clinician. Liver King, the public figure, was an experiment to spread the message, to bring awareness to the 4,000 people a day who kill themselves. The 80,000 people a day that try to kill themselves are people are hurting at record rates. So I made it my job to model, teach, and preach a simple, elegant solution called ancestral living, the nine ancestral tenants. This is my fight. This is why I exist. The Try Guys Cheating Scandal. I don't know that we'll ever be able to fully articulate the pain we feel at this moment. It's hard to rewatch old videos that we love and are proud of. We're losing a friend. We're losing someone we, we built a company with. We have countless memories with. We, we just made a TV show together. It's, I'm sure many of you feel the same way. It's weird. We're sorry that this ever happened and we, we don't know what more to say. Ned also posted his own statement, which said, Family should have always been my priority, but I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship. I'm sorry for any pain that my actions may have caused to the guys and to the fans, but most of all to Ariel. The only thing that matters right now is my marriage and my children, and that's where I'm going to focus my attention. Ms. Gifts comeback stream. Wait, do I have more viewers than everyone else on Twitch? Wait, I fucking do! Should I just go offline? (laughs) Any publicity is good publicity. As an employee, what do you need to know about it? First, sexual harassment is against the law. And it's against your company's policy. Sorry, you looked really tense. No, I really don't like it when you do that. Can you please stop? What is he doing? Is he watching a sexual harassment is illegal video? Oh, come on, dude. Word around the office is you've got a fat cock. (laughs) Yes, I do. You're making it look worse by making a joke out of it? 
I'm gonna make it a joke. You think it's a joke? Logan Paul's first response to Coffeezilla. You've made very real errors with very real repercussions. I'm gonna be defending myself with facts as you continue to morph from an investigator to a gossip channel. He's nothing more than the keem star of crypto and finance. I suggest you use the money you got for pumping your Patreon to hire a good lawyer. You're gonna need it. Coffeezilla is not a criminal. Z here. Andrew Callahan. So I'd like to start by thanking every single person who's came out uh, in the past week uh, to speak about different ways in which my behavior has made them feel uncomfortable or pressured. That being said, a lot of the things that have been said online about me uh, are not true. A lot of things are missing really important contextual information that I think would change people's interpretation of a lot of these situations, but I'm not here to invalidate anybody's lived experience. Oh. Lots of uh, sorries there. Unfortunately, the one I issued yesterday was unable to make the category. You qualify for next year. Don't you? Uh, next year's. Yeah, this uh, next year. Uh, you, you'll probably do some worse stuff by the end of the year. Oh yeah, they were just. I mean, this is only the first month for Christ's yeah. sake. I'm already I'm patiently awaiting our first joint apology. That'll be fun. Like that's gonna be the best day ever. That's as long as it's not for anything that bad, which it won't I be, because we we're just, good people. Yeah, I guess we just don't do anything that bad. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, Good. I didn't really. Now see let's the, get to the scumbags. That I didn't deserve. see the categories. We, I was. There's a little bit of drama some brewing. Intel, some inside. Maybe intel. you can just say what it was without getting into it. I you won't guys... get into it. I just got. I'm, I'm being sent. Um, a fellow <coughs> vlog squad member calling me a liar. And Todd, you're a piece of shit if you're watching this scum. Let's do it on our. Yeah, turf. you do it on your time. Yeah. Jeff definitely doesn't want to get into this live, but the I impulsive and the emotionally driven impulsive. Impulsive, really. Um, I would just love to dive in, but I'm not. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want as, to ruin the media train as Ethan, night. where, you know, it's, a, yeah, it's such a You're spectacular, right. magical night here. And let's save it all for positivity and taking down the, the people that are in Absolutely. the category. That's so wisely spoken by dear, sweet Why Jeff here. Thank you. Can I ask Thank one you. question? <laughs> if you just want, we, <laughs> if you just want to wrap it up, you go ahead. What was he calling you a liar about? If you could just you you could pie like, it. I feel like you want to wrap it up. I don't. I would love to dive in and go you ahead, guys read are, the, you go give ahead, me appetizers. Yeah, and I'd rather just it's all ahead. public knowledge. Read it, read it, read it. Yeah. But I didn't fucking lie, so I was like, dang. I'm just but. curious, but I understand. Anyways, worst apology winner, Logan Paul's first response. Oh, yeah, that's a shit. Oh man. damn! Did you, you know, guys see that? That was I love really you, funny. Logan. You know, I so <laughs> fuck. I also love Logan. Do you hate that you have two Logan apologists sitting here? Um, Listen, I saw no, that okay. you, I saw that before it went live because it, you know, it was like a, I was at Mike's house and they were like, what, "So what do you guys think of this?" And I was like, "It's great." <laughs> <laughs> I thought it crushed. I don't because know anything. Don't know I, don't, I don't know crypto stuff. That's I don't, the problem. I don't know, but but yeah, that's awesome. I was like, "Damn, this is gonna fucking get you out of all this shit, bro." That's awesome. <laughs> Send it. Uh, so in a way, you are Note kind to of a self. Never go to Jeff for my future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, calling yeah. you. Yeah. If I'm ever apologizing for some shit, I'm calling you. I've been. Th I, I think I could give good advice at this point in my life. But no, I, you yeah, I looked at the context I, of it. So. Well, I just looked at it like you know he didn't like uh, obviously I didn't even talk to him about. It. I'm not hitting him up and being like, "Yo, what's what's your thoughts on this? I need to know." Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I just asked Mike and Mike's like, "Yo, he never sold anything. He didn't fucking leave her any money." So I'm like, "Oh, there was, Logan didn't profit off of it. He didn't like steal any money." So that's why I was just like, "Yeah, bro. You got post it. that shit. You're going to yeah. fucking crush it." Dude, and then got, it was the, I think in my opinion, for my money, the worst response slash apology video in the history of YouTube. Damn. It was a real Really? <laughs> my jaw was on the ground. Fuck. I watched it like several times privately because I just was enjoying it so much. Yeah. Don't ask me. <laughs> that was awesome, bro. So you're kind of like a secret agent. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look you're at You're like me. a double agent. I just wear tuxedos all the time, too. I don't even know <laughs> that this was required for today's shoot. Um. Second to that, we have Liver King at 24.5%. Try Guys Cheating, which... Okay. Ms. Kiff comeback stream and then Andrew Ka Callahan. Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I will say, since you guys don't seem super savvy on the Logan Paul thing, uh, he didn't make money, but he did insider trading and bought a bunch of stock in it. Uh, they colluded to buy a bunch of stock before it went public, which is illegal, but uh, I'll let you guys be. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Guys be cool I just like to watch him wrestle. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> He's really good at wrestling. Oh my god. Wrestle man, good. <laughs> Fat man, bad. Dead ass. What's happening in my head? Wrestle man, man, nice. <laughs> Very I wrestle good. the bear. Well, this one. Congratulations, Logan Paul. Uh, is that I'll, another? I'll serve this to you with the subpoena that's soon to come. <laughs> Are you suing him? What are you doing? No, well, he's going to be subpoenaed by probably the feds soon. Oh, yeah? I think so. It's you think he's bad. going to jail? I, but I, I doubt he's going to go to jail, but I do think there's going to be some interested authorities. Damn. Fun. But what do I know? I don't have any insider info. Uh, neither do I. Yeah. Wrestle man good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nothing's good. happening up here. I mean, he is. A little walnut shaking around. It doesn't even make any sense how that big muscular man could fly through the air like that. He's like an acrobat. So athletic. Man. Yeah. 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 Super Let's impressive. leave it at that. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. I mean, I don't, I don't, look, I don't, give, I don't even give a fuck. To no, it's all good. I like it. We can leave it at that. Um, okay, so up next is my presentation of the most unhinged TikTok account. Wow. Go ahead. Let's roll it. I'm excited. Most unhinged TikTok account. P and P. I got my great client here. He was charged with a second time DUI. Uh, he admittedly overdosed on multiple different drugs that night. It caused a drug-induced psychosis. He crashed with two other cars on a freeway and flipped over a few times. The fire department came with the police, used the jaws of life, dragged him out of the car. He started fighting with them. They charged him with resisting arrest also. Um, and we're pleased to announce that he's getting out of this with just a wet reckless. Really turned his life around. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. Thank you so much, David, for everything I've done. Let's go. Peanut butter, Craig. The smell of virgin peanut butter. Yeah. Lick it. Mm, virgin peanut butter tastes the best. It's peanut butter Friday. I couldn't take it anymore. I just relapsed. Infrabrand. Or fondle my flummy fetus. <laughs> my heart flutters when I'm around you. Recognize me? Check this out. What? Give it a whiff. Strawberries? <laughs> you big strawberries? Anal strawberries. Yeah, you like them? Gross. <laughs> hey, I Amazing grace. Malek Lazri, the fleshlight guy. Very rare, very hard to find, especially in this condition. The tire, the treads are all there. You usually never see the treads. They're usually worn down. You can't even fit like a nickel head in there. I tell you this all the time. And you usually listen, but this time for real, do not sleep on this one, folks. Howie Mandel. When my friend Neil bent over, this happened. Does somebody know, is this COVID related? And if it is, what do we do about it? Ow. Yeah. Fresh on his mind, yeah. Yeah. Well, that that was actually a really thrilling category. Lots of really uh, powerful nominees there. For sure. Breathtaking. Yeah. Ken, I saw you had a visceral reaction to the flashlight and the peanut butter guy. Mm. The peanut butter was sincerely a visceral reaction. I just, I'm serious. I, I don't know what it does to me, but I just, peanut butter is for toast and like you bananas. Won't, okay, my, you do eat it. Yeah, it's chill, man. But like when people start putting it all over themselves, the peanut butter baby is a video that I would wipe from the internet over maybe everything ever. Like it, it actually gives me like severe. I was gonna say AIDS. It's an ick. Like well, thing you, yeah. Um, it's an well, ick. is that an ick? Yeah, but it's more than an ick. It, uh, you know, an ick is like li livable. Yeah. That it does something to me. Like like I was clenching everything, every a phobia, hole. perhaps. Borderline of phobia. Yeah. Well, you'll you'll be delighted to know that that man featured there. He puts his dick inside the peanut butter jar. Like, That's his past. why? I mean, it's also a... Um, it goes without saying. Yeah, it's kind of inferred. For sure. Also, we were going to have him on the show. Oh, we had him on the show once. It was hilarious. And then I wanted to have him back on. And apparently, he's allegedly also a child predator. So he should link with the, the vibe the a little flesh, bit. Oh yeah, he should link with the fleshlight guy and do a collab, and so they okay. could maybe do a peanut butter. Okay, uh, the fleshlight guy is cool. He's a comedian, by yeah, the way. Yeah, he's he, super funny. He's very funny. Don't sleep on this one. He said, and that that was nice. <laughs> nice selling point. Yeah, he's good. 
Uh, uh, was there? Was the first one in that? The the drunk driving. Oh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. The, the well, lawyer. This, that's this an account so I would funny. watch because that's crazy. Cool. Yeah, P and P. He's on TikTok. He's this guy favorite. did drugs and beat up his mother. Let's and I'm go. getting him off with community service. I think I, I saw one recently that was like murder. Like yeah. She was suspected of killing her husband, and I got her off on like. Imagine that like interaction, <laughs> just watching that firsthand. Like, all right, so Deborah here. Like, you know what he told me? Can you chill? He you, told me. He said he, enough. You, like, like he said enough. Oh yeah, no, they're terrified. Like the person that the lawyers. You Let's know. go. Are you yelling at me? No, 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 no. That's no, enough, no, no, no. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> we get it. Some shit you would do. Well, you know what he told me? He says that he just blitzed them. He just takes the phone out and starts going. Oh, yeah? No. Yeah. Yes, he does. I love that you had uh, to, like, find that out. I, of course, one of my first questions for him. He's a great guy, though. Really good That's guy. so funny. And what's a person going to do? Like, you know they were about funny? to go to jail for life. Yeah, what are they going to say? They're about to start renegating. <laughs> you know what's funny? He's actually working with my... Uh, the babysitter slash nanny that we work with has ha having some legal issues, and I fucking asked David P and P, and he's working. He's working with. Yeah, me. honestly, I'm out here making oh, yeah. jokes, but nice. like shit, I should get him on my good side. Nice. Well, we were, gonna get, we were gonna get him on the show, but then we saw you guys had him on the show like the week we were trying to get him on. We were like, this is gonna be too many. Oh, you copy H three comments too much. Please have PP on your show. He's a great guy. Yeah. I want to meet him. My, you guys think I copy H3 now? I brought my crew here to do intel. They're doing research mm -hmm. in the background, yeah. taking pictures of everything. <laughs> He's got Zach's whole soundbite library. So keep them coming. Keep those comments coming because we're absolutely we're, we got some big plans for you. Please copy haters. Away. We love it. Now the family. Family. I'm just I'm joking around. Yeah. Well the winner the is it's good mad. 37.3 percent. <laughs> I don't want that smoke. Winner is PNP, our boy David. That's incredible. Let's go. It is the most Let's unhinged, go. for sure. Like the peanut, you know what I mean? That's some real life shit. That guy has problems. Yeah, like yeah. like peanut butter flashlight, like they're just mentally ill. Maybe. I uh, I would say that's probably a good a good venture. Maybe not the flashlight guy. Maybe he just has a well, peanut, hobby. peanut butter was in second, 25%, infrared, uh 15%, uh the flashlight guy, Malik Laz. Lazriel, 15%, and Howie Mandel, uh, as much as we talked about him and enjoyed him last year, only 6%, so. I feel like you expect it from Howie Mandel. Like, the shit that comes out of his mouth, no, no pun with the whole asshole thing, but. Is... I didn't expect to see a prolapse on my feed, to be frank with you. Oh, him. did he actually, like, like green screen? Like Can you guys home? play the unedited one for, for Tana? Uh, Thank you guys, seriously. Oh, boy. I, I woke like, up today yeah, and I was like, God, like a, I want to um, see. It's like an that. H3 joke that I'm not in on. You know, okay. like usually I, I know what oh. you guys are joking around about, but I, I don't know what the asshole thing is. I'll show you the lore. This is the genesis of, of what won as the best soundbite and the best meme. Of Can I year. ask a fucked up question, though? Sure. Oh, Those I guess TikTok ones. is for TikTok is Maybe for young people, so that's inappropriate. So that's why that's wrong. You were gonna say, well, yeah, you can't post pornography and nudity. Okay. But not like, it wasn't just pornography and nudity. It was like a fully prolapsed asshole. I took yeah. it down. Okay. Does someone ha is someone able to pull that up for our viewing pleasure? Uh, I'm why gonna you guys on the make the big right bucks? Now. Get that, get get that it's, prolapse it's pretty disturbing. Video. And well, it was on TikTok. Obviously, we don't have to. No, you know you do. This was on TikTok. Kids saw this. It was up for 24 okay, so that's hours. Okay, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I kind of. I've never seen you one. Close your what? Close your eye. <laughs> Can't watch it. Does somebody know? Is this Funny. COVID related? And if it is, what do we do about it? Ow! When my friend Neil That's bent crazy, over this, right? That's, That's an actual asshole. Up. Yeah, it's real. And then we went down a whole rabbit hole of uh, no pun again. Oh, of, yeah, a prolapse hole. Yeah. Uh, we talked to like the bit, the most famous prolapser. His name's Hunger FF. There's famous prolapser. It's he a type is of porn. incredibly talented. And I'll tell you what, we had Howie Mandel on the show. And we had Hunger FF live prolapse for him. No. Yes, it did happen. We gotta, so it's like a thing you can just do. Like you could just like it's like a party trick. Yes. Well, yes, uh, in a way. Yeah. Well, for for for, he, for this he, uh, gentleman, Hunger FF that we had on, he he, it's like a fetish thing, and he he's okay. A, he's, he's a, a performer. He's a sex performer. How do you? Performer. How does one obtain? Lots of practice. Lots of practice. Things things inside things making it. Come out with the things going inside. Can I? Are you up for seeing another video? Absolutely. Okay, good, Jeff. And again, <laughs> if, you're, if you're uncomfortable, we have got one. so many categories to get to. You know. Oh no, we're working enough, Wade. Don't worry. You have somewhere to be, Jeff. No, I. I fuck. 
I wish I thought of something quicker. No, I okay, couldn't think of anything. Yeah, just stop. <laughs> what I'm going to show I mean, you now. Move on. This, it's really just like I'm. No, I. This is my favorite thing to do. Yeah, it's educating. Is in this clip. We put it together as kind of the ultimate prolapse compilation of, for educational purposes. Of course. And it's only like a minute long, so don't worry. It's not going to take too long. Uh, but go ahead and roll it whenever you guys have the opportunity. And thank you guys. You know, education is just my number one goal. Really, we're, we're looking for it. We might need to circle back to this. Okay, that's fair. That's, that's kind fair. of fun. Like we'll a fun little back. yeah mid show. And Jeff, yeah. if you couldn't handle like the that streamies last had one, young gravy perform. Don't. We're, it, it'll we'll just it'll have come like, full circle. Uh, no, I, I still haven't watched it. I, yeah, I'm, I'm are you not, serious? I still, I've closed my eyes. I've never time. seen anything like it in my whole life. It's well, I just dropped it in chat. If you open it, we're going for it. Yeah, Jeff. Oh boy. It, 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 I mean, you, you know, you, you control your body. You, you decide what you want to look at. Right. Yeah, he's yeah. blind. Thank fully you. blind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. One second. It's okay. Your it's eyes okay. healing really nice, Why by the way. Thank you. You look like totally 100. percent Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, All right, so <laughs> here we go. I'm looking away. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Fuck, man. I forgot what we were doing. You know what? what? Uh, no, I'm no, done. No, I'm no, done. No, I've no. learned it enough. Okay, all right. There's my favorite part coming up, if you're interested. They go ass to ass. Is this where you come every time? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's where I come. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, you've seen enough, and uh, I've never yeah. seen anything like it. Me either. Yeah, I didn't know that was a thing. It kind of resembles like beef carpaccio. Oh, beef yeah. carpaccio. Similar texture and color. Yeah. I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we have some salami. I'm kidding. I'm in the fridge. Well, oh. congratulations, PMP. Let's go ahead and move it on to. <laughs> Did what the, the people hell? get to see that video? No, right? No, no, no. no. Okay. Heavens no. Oh, then you'd be man. on your Howie. I think shit. I'd be permanently banned. Again, yeah, no pun intended. intended. Big time. Here you go, Jeffy. Okay. What the hell is happening, award? Wow. What the hell is happening gonna... award? Wow, Our, it, this beast. one is a very exciting category. Me daily when I Crazy times we're living in. And that's what this category is about. Thank you. Current state of the world. <laughs> let's let's roll it. Uh, the what the hell is happening? Dear God, somebody please do something award. Adriana Chechik breaks back at TwitchCon. <laughs> She broke her back. Chechik later tweeting, Well, I broke my back in two places and I'm getting surgery to put a metal rod in for support today. Send your support. When it rains, it pours, and I am definitely feeling the rain right now. Man goes into Gabby Hanna's house and films TikToks. Oh, hi. 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 Think you can use your bathroom? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, there's time. What's your name? My name's Nick. Nick? Nice, nice to meet you. you. All right, everybody, I'm literally inside of the house right now. Just chillin' with Gabby Hanna. I know you know who I am. Come on. Why did you lie to me this whole time? Why did you lie to me? That's for my acne, you dumb Get the fuck out of my house, now. Now. Now! Amaranth livestream exposes her abusive husband. I would lock my door, but he broke that too. I ran in here to call the cops and he literally kicked the door in. I'm done with this shit. You want me to tell them I'm single? It's about to be true, piece of shit. Go fuck yourself. Small dick anyways. And I don't have to wear cleavage every day. I can wear clothes. Last time he's keeping Toby a sock. Toby is free. Ezra Miller kidnap someone. The parents claim that Ezra Miller was grooming their daughter, Takata Iron Eyes, since uh, Takata was 12 years old. They are, they are living together, Charles, traveling together now across the country. They say that they went and, and confronted both Takata and Ezra to try and get her to return home. They did get her home for a little bit, uh, and then she returned to New York City to meet up with Ezra, and they've continued to just travel around. Logan Paul's pig found near death 
in a field. The Gentle Barn Animal Sanctuary shared a rescue story about a pet pig. They claim this pig was once owned by a huge influencer and was later found by them ditched in some field with extreme health issues. She's lucky to still be alive. We were told she belonged to a famous YouTuber and was irresponsibly rehomed. That pig was in fact Logan Paul's mini teacup pig that he purchased a few years prior. Regarding Logan Paul, have you seen those flips? <laughs> is, okay. Makes you forget all about it. <laughs> is he wrong for, you know, mm, a lot of people bought teacup pigs mm -hmm. and thought they were going to remain teacup pigs. I have a few friends this happened to. Mm -hmm. And then realizing, you know, wow, this pig is giant. I can no longer handle this responsibility. Mm -hmm. I'm going to find a proper place to rehome it so it has the best life. I bet the place they're they're great. Was it the proper place though? But like, he thought I mean, it was. They, you know what I mean, right? But like, so he thought it was. So, but I mean, negligence is still a crime, right? Yeah. Like, but like, wouldn't it be negligence on the people that? I guess I don't know because clearly the people he left the pig to were not that competent because okay. they just left the pig there. But what if they convinced him deeply that they were? Would he still be at fault, or would they be at fault? He's got a lot of things. He got a lot of things going on. <laughs> Ultimately, I think the, it goes back. Yeah, yeah, he does. He's busy. You know, he's yeah. got the wrestling. He's got yeah, prime. Yeah, taking care of pigs. Yeah. Maybe he just yeah. wanted bacon. Got too big. Awful. Got oh too my big. god, kidding. Got too big. I think it goes back to because Logan Paul has a history of his pigs. And he had to move to Puerto Rico. You can't bring that. You pig can. Into... We researched it. Oh, okay. You can. <laughs> Thank God. You can bring <laughs> oh, the pig shit. to Puerto Rico. We looked that up. Maybe he didn't Damn. want to bring the pig to Puerto well, okay. Rico. Okay. Well, that's what. That's the truth. That but poor like... pig. That poor pig. I can see myself listen, falling victim to this. Logan, buying he's, a pig. He's got an issue Gross. with with his pets. You know, his pets are dying all he's around. He's got a lot of he got a lot of pets. But now I, I'd like to go back to a video that you made recently on a podcast episode that I did with my dear friend Logan, <laughs> and we were talking about a story that I thought was gangster at the time. Oh, I the said, coyote! I said, hell yeah, bro. That's gangster. You you story. have a track record of really giving him bad advice. <laughs> yeah, I do. It's awesome. I do. Well, so 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 he's telling me the story, and at the time, my dog had just passed. His dog was murdered. I bonded with him. We related yeah. over that, and yeah. my hatred towards coyotes was the same as his, you know. Mm. And then you Googled baby coyotes. Now, if you Google baby yeah, anything, really adorable. There, it's going to come up a cute animal. So now you. You're telling your audience this guy's bad, you know, fat man bad. Look at these strong man bad. Strong man bad. Look at these cute coyotes, but they are vicious animals. They rip apart dogs, and it sounds like a horror movie when they're killing your dog. I never got my answers you know, on the That's pig. why if you have a five pound dog in fucking Encino, you don't let him roam around. You telling me Sh say. Shredder never, never sometimes gets out and runs out for a second? What? No, of course not. And anytime I take him in the backyard, I'm always with him because we have a ton of coyotes. Well, you're not re wrestling, practicing wrestling. I don't have wrestling. crime. I don't you're have not crime. You're not going. practicing wrestling. Yeah, there's so a lot going on. If you had, if you were also doing that stuff, you had to learn I, these choreographed moves. My dog would have died. There you go. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, I'm gonna read this in a second, and I hope I'm not bringing another award to my friend here. You Listen, know? you didn't vote for it. You're here. You're defending him. You're being a good friend. When it comes to the pig and the dog, I, I. I could see myself falling victim to both. Because the pig, the pig, you know, it's, it, it's, it's, I, I get it, but like that it, story it's was awful, gangster, but bro. I'm just saying, like, I'm just that shooting the coyote. Right the, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a psycho, if, if it wasn't, too, isn't it? Oh, did he shoot the coyote? To? But he, so maybe, yeah, may, I, I get, I, like, stop I get Ethan's, on things I get I Ethan's argument. About. Maybe it was a different coyote. <laughs> if you just killed a random bro, different coyote, I'm, you Maybe know. kill all coyotes. Maybe that's. I'm not, I'm not going to go on record and say that. That's we just lost a PETA sponsor for okay. our new show. Uh, you know sweetie. what? Not even about the 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 validness of coyotes, but ultimately it was his fault, not the coyotes' fault. The coyotes are going to coyote. You know what I mean? Like you know they want to eat your dog, so it's yeah, your responsibility yeah. to protect the dog. It's not the coyotes' fault for being hungry. Okay, Ethan. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I lose an argument. I'm like. Whatever, bro. I don't <laughs> <even care. laughs> and then just just to hit on the pig, I think it, it's less the rehoming and the tragic uh, aftermath of that pig. As poor, poor babe-like pig, precious yeah. and beautiful, for sure, mm -hmm. gorgeous animal. I guess I just uh, it was the it was the neglect. I think that I, he bought this pig. 
without knowing. For and then, clout. yeah, for clout, he used it in a bunch of videos. Yeah. And then, you know, he threw it out like a fucking pair of dirty socks. But at Probably least he's not, at least he's not saying that I am that the his, pig. <laughs> I mean, he used the pig as clickbait, but at least he's not saying that his kids have cancer as clickbait. No, you know, it, could it, could be worse. it could be worse. So, you I know. I guess I was just inquiring as to if the fault should be placed on the rehoming in that situation, People? you know, uh, or, yeah, or I, I don't know Puerto enough. Rico for I don't the know laws enough. of not having pigs in there. No, they, they, they you can uh, okay. definitely, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring them in. We looked it up, man. I don't know, man. But, but I don't know. You know what? I'd have to see because it could have just been like a shack and a dude like uh, with the fucking, you know, panhandling on the street. Yeah. He's like, yo, yeah. you want this pig? Yeah. We yeah. don't know. He says. So it was I ethical. guess before blame was properly placed, you would have to kind of do some research on the. Well, let's just. Keep, let's I don't know. He might not have even why am I, won. And why did I decide out, I was an activist? You know, he, yeah, you guys are, are getting you guys are getting nervous. He might not have even won. You know. He, well, let's we, take a look. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know until now. Here it is. What the hell happened? Award winner, Amar Amaranth. Oh my goodness! Live stream. Wow, that was that was intense. Exposes husband. <laughs> That was crazy. Logan Paul pig is actually five percent. It's the wow. lowest one. Wow! So there it is. So so, there so you go. we we covered. We did all that. Uh, we did all that covering ground for nothing. Man there you go. Take that Gabby pearl. Hannah's Take that pearl. The pig. You fucking. You had it coming, pearl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's hard. So I'm happy you're rehomed, I hope pearl. She's doing better. I hope she's not with that man. That was crazy. Yeah, that was. I uh, wanted the Gabby Hanna situation to win. The Amaranth one was pretty intense. Not, uh, Ezra I mean, Miller. Has, what is this Ezra Miller guy getting off on all this stuff? Where he kidnapped someone? I think he is in jail. I think they got him, right? Did they? He was on the run for a while, but I think they got him. Yeah. I guess the only one I really followed was the Gabby Hanna one, so that's why I'm like, so... Well, congrats. I don't know if I necessarily want to congratulate Amaranth, but uh, it ha that sh an award was issued. I'm not congratulating I her. hope that we can congratulate her on getting out of that relationship. And Congratulations to her on that. Yeah. And also, she said he has a small dick, so finding a guy who's stacked. Am I right? Yeah. There if it that is. ain't me, I'm pulling the small dick card every time. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Every time it could be a fucking horse cock. If you fuck me over, it. your shit is That's tiny. Awesome. That's awesome. Fuck. That's awesome. Yeah, a 26% man goes in Gabby Hanna's house. Adriana breaks her back, 21%. Ezra Miller, 12%. And Logan Paul, Pearl the pig, who had it coming, 5% only. <laughs> you Nobody had it coming, Pearl. Pigs. Tana, worst award show. <laughs> Probably the Grammys. <laughs> oh, well, well, hold on. Roll it. I think we only have one nominee, but. Worst award show. The Streamies. Dream. You finally took off the mask. Let's go, Dream. Let's hope uh, Ethan Klein takes his off next. Oh, I'm being told this is actual. This is actual face. I'm so sorry, Ethan. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Podcast. Call her daddy. I told you guys I did. Please welcome Miss yeah, Darcy and Ian Bob. <laughs> No way. That's so weird. it's it's this it's uh one it's just one the streamies. So who won? Let's take a look. Let's see it. To the Drum people of the streamies, please. I love you, Drew. You're a great guy. This is a condemnation <laughs> of Tana. I'm never winning shit again though, so I don't know why I'm riding so hard. Um, I'm hoping to win in the future. The worst this award nice show feeling. winner, <laughs> which was voted by people who are not us. Nice. I got this with ninety six point six percent. You know. We have. No. Found it. <laughs> the streamies. I'm starting to say it. <laughs> Fuck. Are you not going to read it? Uh, All right. Well, let me read it. So with 100% of the vote, that's a blowout. Wait. Actually, 96.6. So there were some write-ins, apparently. Yeah. Wow. The streamies, you corrupt <laughs> freak institution. Shame <laughs> on you. So you've been nominated five times. Five never, times. You haven't won. Why? Never. Why do you hate them? Because they're corrupt. Obviously, I didn't I felt win. worthless. Because we always lose. Fair. All award shows are rigged, though, for the most part. Who? So does this mean that you're also boycotting the, the PCAs and the Grammys yes. and the... Oh, I will never... I'll tell you what. When the fuck... When I get an Academy Award, I will boycott them. See, I, I know... I can relate. I know how you feel. I was nominated for the Barbershop show one year, and we lost to some fucking nobodies. But <laughs> they were the hosts of the show. 
So it's like they just Bullshit. gave it to themselves. So yeah, it is rigged. I would have loved to win for that, but then they I gave me a sympathy one. I think it is a fair and honest award show. I was so excited to win Creator of the Year they gave over me a Mr. Beast. One for getting uh, hit with a crane. What, obviously, what, what, yeah. Oh, the documentary. The documentary was when, oh, was when they were like, we got to give them this. We can't give it to this fucking... Is that a little awkward to get an award for the eye? Well, it was a well-made uh, piece okay. of telling the story. I could have just dropped the video by itself, mm -hmm. and you know that wouldn't have done as well. No. If we, they probably got taken down. Maybe, yeah, eventually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and then I would have to tweet at YouTube again. Yeah, but uh, they're they're scum, and uh, I wish them the worst. Love you guys. <laughs> okay, up next is uh, the greatest redemption arc. So this is pretty exciting. We wow. have two nominees right wow. here beside me. I really like. I'm surprised this was that I'm nominated for this. Yeah, um, but I think, we were, I think we we're desperate to be honest for uh, contenders. Yeah. Go ahead and roll it, please. Bradley Martin, is he one of them? Greatest redemption arc. Jeff Wittick. That feels good. Wow. That is one squashed beef, my friend. Nice. Well, I'm happy for you, bro. I'm happy we did this. We squashed our beef once again, you know? No, we're dogs. We're, we're yeah, dogs we're not for even life. We're not squashing beef anymore. We're just bonding now. Yeah, we're dogs, bro. Bradley Martin. <laughs> You gotta and, give it one too. You, and do you forgive me for comparing Jim to laser tag? Yes, I'll forgive you. <laughs> that was mainly it. Yeah. That one got me pissed, yeah, bro. And then do you forgive me for um for saying that working out's a waste of time? I do, but I don't know if the whole gym community will. Okay, but you, but you I will, I will, I will. You represent them. I will represent the gym. I will represent the gym community. We should, we should forgive you because thank you. Bro. I exercise. I exercise. Yeah. Mike. Malak. So what I'm saying is, <laughs> he's a good kid, and you're gonna let him walk. You broke my heart. You're gonna end <laughs> this thing once and for all. All right, all right, stop. I see your fucking fingers moving. <laughs> Cut the shit. <laughs> Cut the fucking Let's shit. This Move one. on. Nice. Beautiful. I did one squash beef. I'm happy. I'm happy. Tana Mojo. Have you and I ever beefed? Like, I feel no, like it just kind no. of been you, like, it's, just that's exactly beating right. me. <laughs> that's exactly what it has been. Yeah. yeah no, you've never, yeah. I don't think you've ever said a bad thing about me. Wait, I'm, I'm sorry no. if it's in your heart to squash I, it. I, our beef is squashed. I don't really care to touch that. The Ace Family Fest. I'm gonna say it. I'm having fun. I'm kind of having a good time. Dude, I'm gonna say it. This fucking rules, It man. does. It this does. It's kind of lit, dude. Know. Steve will do it. So I, it was never meant for us to hate each other, no. I feel like. No. But after watching the podcast with you guys and then you telling me that, yeah, this guy, he's a pretty good guy, I was like, fuck yeah. it, you know, make up with him. Yes, I messaged him. I was like, hey, sorry about what I said about you and your wife, which, you know, uncalled for. Talking about any, anyone's wife is of course, yeah. uncalled for. Um, <laughs> it's okay, bro. I guess it's his thing to, you know, go after people. That's, that's what, what he, he did. That's what his yeah, life. and you know what? It's hard to explain. I feel like I'm just, sometimes I just take shit too far. You know what I mean? It's, it's just burning bridges with people that you're not really, because they come out and they go, oh, I fucking hate that guy. I'm like, damn, that sucks because I'm not trying to have like beef with him. I'm glad we made up. I'm glad I won't have him uh, talking shit about me now. I won't talk <laughs> shit about him. Well, just play, hey, just Ray. I didn't make that for him. <laughs> Touching. I love how half the nominees are just from that one podcast yeah. we did. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the People Ethan Has Forgiven Award. Yeah, it's really. No rhyme or reason, really. It's really just about <laughs> me. Well, the people have voted. I think it's Jeff. My With money's on Jeff. With 52.8%, the winner by far, Jeff Wittick. <laughs> Here you go, brother. Wow. Wow. That's Should, yours, I, give, should I give a speech up there? Oh, he's going yeah, to be such go a the cocky podium. asshole all day. Go ahead, wow. The people love me. Speech, 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 speech. <laughs> I didn't prepare anything because I didn't... Uh, think we have this a, would ever I put, happen. I put up a teleprompter for you if you'd like. I've, I, you know what? I'm just gonna go off the books here. <laughs> no? Okay. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> you know, I this is a redemption arc. So that means I was probably the worst piece of shit that was on this category. <laughs> but I don't think that I was. I think that I. I Who was? But. Uh, <laughs> 
Who was the biggest piece of shit? Who else was it? <laughs> Actually, I guess I was. Okay, yeah. Okay. So going back to that time when I was making a lot of mistakes and I had my beef with Ethan, I was sending him all types of messages saying that, you know, something bad's going to happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Yes. But there were a lot of threats that I sent Ethan over Twitter, <laughs> and I never thought that I would be standing here one day in this studio with an award. So I want to thank the family mm. for this. It means a lot. This was one of the biggest regrets of my life, and I'm happy that we were able to fix it. I will hang this up right next to my streamy award that I won. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, family. Peace and love. Yeah. <laughs> Terrific, man. Beautiful. Uh, touching. Death threat. You know what? I'm alive. That's all the that matters. <laughs> yeah. I was true. scared for my life at a certain point when uh, your boy, what's his name? Cody. That's Good guy. I like him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good guy. We'll bring him by. Better to be friends day. with, though, than enemies. That's right. It yeah. feels good to squash beefs. Yeah, I'd, I'd be okay meeting um, meeting him now. But congratulations. Well, really fantastic. Thank you. And thank you for the voters. Yes, thank you. Very nice. All right. You have the honor of doing us the uh, penultimate award. Spiciest drama. Here you are. Nice. Spiciest drama. All right, let's take a look. And let's go ahead and the our nominees. Spiciest drama. Logan Paul vs. Coffeezilla. CryptoZoo, a blockchain game that made millions but never worked. At the center of it, we have Logan Paul himself who has abandoned this thing. Coffeezilla. So you're, you're slimy as We're going to handle this ourselves while we continue to build CryptoZoo, and I'll see you in court. Liver King exposed. The, the question has always been, do you take steroids? The answer to that is no. I've always told the truth. I still tell the truth. Because I lied, and I misled a lot of people. To support these exhaustive efforts, I've recently started taking on Omnitro, 5.8 milligram vials from Empower Pharmacy, $11,000 per month. Kanye goes Nazi. Now I'm a Nazi, Arya Emanuel. There, there's a lot of things that I love about Hitler. A lot of things. The Holocaust is not what happened. Let's look at the facts of that. Try Guys Ned exposed. Longtime fans of the Try Guys learned a shocking update on social media. Ned Fulmer is no longer working with the Try Guys. Suffice to say, we found that Ned had engaged in conduct unbecoming of our team, and we knew that we could not move forward with him. Keffels vs. Kiwi Farms. Kiwi Farms has been dropped by its internet services company after being linked to violent threats. The internet services company, San Francisco-based Cloudfair, dropped Kiwi Farms only after negative press attention, we should note. Clara Sorrenti recounts how online trolls called in a fake emergency sending armed police to her home in Canada, a tactic known as swatting. Over the past month, she's been targeted, harassed, and stalked around the globe. Gambling banned on Twitch. Like, some of you guys need to get educated on what addiction is, how it functions. It's so stupid to see someone promote this shit and then say, oh, but I said don't do it, as if it makes a fucking difference. It doesn't. Right. And An update on gambling update. on Twitch. Actually huge. So we'll Hold be up. making a policy update on October 18th. You guys, you guys know that was against it the whole time, right? I know you're against it, but then you just still do it greedily. <laughs> Ethan versus the NRA. Do we have any insight into what they're actually talking about there at the NRA meeting that's today in Texas? So much on that building. David Dobrik sued by Jeff Wittick. So the guy has a fractured face, torn ligaments in his legs, shattered his skull in nine places, broke his foot, and he ne nearly lost an eye. But after racking up some serious hospital bills, Jeff's face is tip top again, and he's suing David for more than 10 million bucks. Slicker steals money for gambling addiction. I hope you don't hate me on this. Basically, um, my bank account got locked to borrow from, and I'll pay back. Genuinely, give me two months and I can pay back. The people that I done dirty, I'm I'm really sorry. For another award, there, Jeff. Wow, so many, so many good ones. So many good night. I don't. I'm not sure who's gonna win that one. I'm 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 on the edge of my seat here. The winner is actually kind of shocking to me. For spiciest drama, we have the winner. 
Try Guys Ned exposed. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. 4.5%. That is surprising. I mean, that was good. I don't know if you guys followed. That was pretty good. No, it was part. definitely really, really good. Spicy. But a lot of this is like spicier to me. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, oh my God. Stuff. I mean, a like... privileged white guy at a high up corporation cheated? No way. Right. You know? Oh, I guess I guess the, the special wrinkle is it was that he was the family guy. Oh, he was, was he? like always talking about his wife and how. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. That's, so there was a special the little wrinkle guy. in it. Yeah. Um, number two is Kanye at 20.8%, Liver Close. King at 10.9%, David Dobrik sued by Jeff Wittick at 10.1 million that he's going to pay in court percent. Yeah, let's go. Um, <laughs> Numbers made up, by Ethan the way. Ethan versus was, NRA at 8.4, Logan oh. versus CoffeeZilla at 6.8. Sliker steals money at five. Gambling ban on Twitch at five. Yep. Kiwi Farms four. There Arab it is. World News one point six. <laughs> Arab World News is on here. <laughs> Arab World News versus Jimmy Lee. Wow. Well, that. Well, congratulations, Ned. Um, wherever you are, we'll find you. So many other good ones though. Liver King selling all these products when he's really juicing behind closed doors. Well, that one did really good. It was right up there. And the Kanye one was just right behind the, the cheating one, but... And, I, and also the guy that um, pretended to be this great guy giving away cars, smashing me up, saying, here's the bill, deal with it, figure it out. David Dobrik you're referring to. It's a little... I mean, I don't know. Look, I'm not... I don't want to be, be, be greedy. I don't want to be greedy here. I got an award. I'm happy. I'm, the thing I'm is, great he's gotten you well, what was listed here is the lawsuit. Yeah, okay, so that's you know not what as, I mean? as not, spicy. Not as even, spicy. We haven't even got, he hasn't responded yet. He so. hasn't responded to your uh, brief? No, he only told TMZ. It's his fault. <laughs> Wait, how long does he have to respond? He doesn't have that long. To court? I don't know how it works. I've never been in this situation before. Mm. But How are you guys feeling about the status of the lawsuit? Um, what, do you, what do you mean by that? I don't know. Are you feeling good about like the prospects of it? Work like winning. Oh yeah, yeah. I hope they live stream it. I want to get it live streamed, like Johnny. You want that? You want that they, trial? They like to keep everything so private. I don't think they would go because it has. To, we both have to go for it, right? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I doubt that. Who decides Amber if Heard it's public? public? Yeah. I think they petitioned the judge, and they have to make some cases about why they think it should be public. Get to work. I think it should be. There it is. That'll be go. spicy when that happens. Hopefully, they do vote on that. You'll be winning that year. I guarantee it. Well, we'll see. <laughs> All right, we have one category left, and my beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, intellectual titan, entrepreneur, <laughs> innovator, fashion icon, okay. Ela Klein is here to present yeah. Woo! the most dramatic creator yes. award. So the next yes. category is the most dramatic creator who um, I, I do happen to be married to one. Oh, okay, I'm nominated. <laughs> I didn't win this last year. I do not want this one. Shall we Have take I a look at the nominee? For that? Yeah. Yes. yes. Really? I think so. She's not nominated for... Let's take a look I at the nominee. I don't it remember. It was dramatic this year. Right, here yes, we go. it was. Maybe you're right in. Most dramatic creator. Here are your nominees. Ethan Klein. Logan Paul. Hassan Pika XQC Aiden Ross All right, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, the winner with uh, 49.5% Ethan Klein. God damn it. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Dramatic legend. Yeah, you did it. He and did it. this is your award. You know what? I am proud of you. Thank you. And by the way, I am taller. She's wearing like 10 inch heels. Just want to say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now listen, guys, um, I'm just going to own it. We've been through a lot together. Um, maybe it's not even the best time because I actually got into some drama yesterday. So maybe this seems insensitive, but it is what it is. <laughs> I won the fucking teapot and I'm going to pour, be pouring it out. <laughs> I just can't help it. I'm a, I'm a menace. I'm a goblin, as they say. Also, I recently learned that I can blame it on Tourette's, which is, which is nice, because I have Tourette's syndrome. And I just recently learned that one of the symptoms of Tourette's syndrome is impulsivity, right? And so, in, a, in an essence, if you are mad at me for anything I've done, you are an ableist. 
<laughs> Thank you. Yeah, but no, I, okay. The, the, they were giggling. Don't hit me with the crickets. I heard giggles. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Um, oh, my God. Mixed feelings about this one, guys, but it is what it is. And uh, the last year's winner was Trisha, I believe, right? So No, last yeah, year I'm, was Gabby. I'm sniffing oh, out Gabby. a reconciliation. Tr Trisha won the first year, okay. then Gabby, and now you. Well... The chances of us all having tea together is very slim, but uh, you never know. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, it's such an honor and a privilege, privilege to be here. And uh, wow, thank you. I'm just choked up. You. you got all choked up there at the end. Wow. Mama. Well, there it is. Thank you, Ela, for presenting that. Soften the blow for sure. Well, there it is, guys. Uh, that's everything. We we we. This is the uh, 2022 Steamies, and just you know, so honored to have both of you. Um, it's just been a, a real treat. Honored to be here as a part of history. I feel like it was a historical night. Yeah. I don't stand by anything I said, and I would like to preemptively <laughs> apologize for every comment that I made. Uh, That's me. Nothing's up here. Wrestle man, great. I think Seriously. Have, I think we have a lot in common. <laughs> I don't regret I'm anything. That, I that regret I nothing. Actually, I regret. I, I want to pull back my statement on the death of all coyotes. That's the one thing probably I want to pull okay, back. Okay, so on. you said we should kill all coyotes. We're walking that back. I'm gonna pull Some back on yeah. coyotes. I, everything else I said, I don't regret any of it. All right, there it is. And it doesn't matter because if I said something that offended you, people are just going to clip it and put it on Twitter anyway. So it really doesn't matter. Hey, Twitter. <laughs> By my only fan. There it is. Uh, yeah, wow. so jeffbarbershop.com. <laughs> yes. For the best smelling. Do you want to look like AB? Who doesn't? AB, I got to start sending you money for this stuff. No. I no. will. I will. No, no. Uh, I'll pay him. Pay me. Yeah, that's true. All right. I'll kick him back some. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what a night. We're going to party now. We're going to hit the after yes. party. Yes. It is going down. Absolutely. Where is the after party? Shall we let them know? We will be celebrating at Romanian um, prison. Dave and Buster's <laughs> down in Hollywood. Yeah. Uh, where it all goes down. And Tana, it's been a, a pleasure. It's nice to uh, have got to know each other a little bit You're better. You're an angel. Thank yeah. you for having me. It was fun. Um, and, Favorite uh, award show I'll ever host. The only award show I'll ever host. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's awesome. Congratulations to all the winners. And to everybody watching, have a great night. This has been The Steamies 2022. We'll see wow. you next year, everybody.